Welcome, Quakelings. I am the expert for experts, the master of the sasker, the one only Quake series, and I'm Sonomic Australia. And today we are doing yet another socks again. Uh, I don't have music. Where's my music? We need music. Um, you know what would be fitting? What would be fitting is I'm gonna use this music right here. Right. Not that one. This one. Right here. So, if you can't guess by the stream name, and if you can't guess by uh, the music playing, a game we're just gonna be talking about fighting games. Now, fighting games is one of those genres I'm supposed to be good at. Um, where I am or not, that's debatable. <laughs> It's very debatable. How about we jump over here, huh? So, I have another here list. Yes, it's another here list. It doesn't have every single fighting game. There's no way it has every single fighting game, right? There's just no way. If it does, I'd be very, very surprised. So, we're just going to talk about some of the fighting games. Uh, where is my chat? Why is my chat gone? Chat, where'd you go? Come back! I need you, chat! There we go. Alright, so... Okay! Let's just go over some of these, uh, fighting games, shall we? Now, some of these I'm not gonna even know. Like, this game, I don't even know what this is. Um, you know what? I am going to add... I can row below. And I'm gonna say, don't know. For example, I don't know what this game is. What Spectral versus Generation? What is this game? What is what is this game? I don't know what this game is. Um any other games that I don't know. But I found... What is that? What is this? I don't know what this game is. Wait a minute. Oh, I've heard of Acceleration of Surgery. I don't know what this game is. There's a lot of games that I don't know here. Like, what the heck is this? So, for those of you who were around during my, uh... Last Satsukan, or the post-birthday, uh, Satsukan... You may have heard me talk about my, uh, video game history, right? Um... So... What is this? I don't know what this is. Some of these games I've never even heard of. Um... Let's start at the beginning. You're, there's gonna be some repeat, so, um... My first fighting game series is Street Fighter. I'm sure a lot of people's first ga uh, fighting game series is Street Fighter. If it's not, then, um... It's probably gonna be like King of Fighters or Guilty Gear for other people. I would assume. I would assume. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna pretend that I know. I'm just assuming. Um... I started with Street Fighter 2 Herbo on the SNES. I have played Street Fighter 2 Herbo, Street Fighter, uh, Free Bird Strike, Street Fighter Alpha 3, Street Fighter EX 3, Street Fighter 4, very, very little, and Street Fighter 5. Well, actually, I've played all the Street Fighters for, uh, the stream, but, um, on console. I only think I've played Street Fighter 5. On console. I do not remember playing Street Fighter 5 on console. But, um, I do have Street Fighter 6. Maybe on Wednesday I will try Street Fighter 6. And we'll see how that goes. Um, I only played it once. I played Street Fighter 5 on stream. I did not play Street Fighter 5 on console, I don't think. Uh, 
Um, I actually want to get sent on Discord, thank you, hate. I actually think I saw that earlier today. <laughs> um, but yeah, in regards to Street Fighter, if we start at Street Fighter 2, and I used to play Street Fighter 2 a decent amount, I was never really super great at it, um, mostly because I didn't play as much as, say, Theo did. Theo got to the point where nobody wanted to play him, because he was grow loop you to death, and you can't really do anything about throws in Street Fighter 2. If you got grabbed, you're getting thrown. There's no if else or but, you're getting thrown in that game. Um... But I used Ryu, Blanca, and Vega with a little Fei Long. My Fei Long was trash, by the way, because I couldn't do the chicken wing. Because inputs in Street Fighter 2 are so, um, so bad. <laughs> I mean, the better for Street Fighter 1, I'll, I'll be honest. We don't talk about Street Fighter 1. But, um, Street Fighter 2 inputs kinda are rough to deal with. Um, when it came time to Street Fighter 3, I personally love Street Fighter 3. I actually want to play more Street Fighter 3. I want to get better at that game. Especially after watching, uh, Justin Wong play Street Fighter 3 and Maximilian do. I will say, though, Throw spam is a thing. Throw spam is a big thing in that game. Which annoys me, because it's like, uh Let me just do this frame one unblockable. Ugh. But in Street Fighter 3, I used Akuma. For some Ryu. Remy. And I think it was Necro, but my Necro was trash, my Remy was trash. I was only really good with Akuma. And I used some Gugly. My Gugly was okay. My Gugly could be better. Uh, my Urian could be better, but I mostly stuck with Akuma. Remy's, like, the worst character in the game, I think. <laughs> like, Remy is honestly really, really bad. Um... And Theo... Who do you think Theo used? Makoto and Ibuki. He loved to use Makoto and Ibuki. And it's like... And Chun-Li. By the way, in Street Fighter 2, Theo also loves to use Chun-Li. Uh, and Kami the most. If I remember correctly. Kami is his main in Street Fighter, so... With some Tunley, but it's mostly Kami. Ibuki's like one of the best characters in the game, I think. If not, uh, no, that would be Yang. Is, is it Yang or is it Yun? I think it's Yun that was supposed to be like one of the best. Q, I wanted to learn who, but Q's really awkward. Oh, yeah, and uh, Theo uses Hugo in, um, Street Fighter 3 sometimes. Hugo, it's the one with the skateboard. I believe that's Young Ben. He's also in, um, Street, or, uh, Capcom vs. SLK 2 and a uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max. The red one's Yang. The one with the hat's Young. Um, when it came time to Street Fighter Alpha 3, I didn't play Alpha 3 that much, but I remember it still being Ryu, Blanca, Vega, and Akuma. But I also used Guile. I don't remember who else I used in Alpha 3. Now, if we're talking about, like, uh, Alpha 3 Max, I also used Ingrid, but, you know... That's Alpha 3 Max. Um... Honestly, my Street Fighter mains don't change too much. Oh yeah! In Alpha 3, I used Dan. Dan was one of my mains in a, a lot of the games. 
And yeah, Gale is usually pretty blah. Bro, I was actually pretty okay with Gan. Um, which you'll hear about in uh, other games. Not so much in Alpha 3. But, um, I think Akuma was still my best. A lot of Rose, and I can't tell who else that is. No, let me see what he said. I don't know what he said. Oh, in uh, Alpha and early Street Fighter 4. When it came to Street Fighter 4, I don't even remember who was in Street Fighter 4 now. I didn't play a whole lot of Street Fighter 4. I think when we played, it was on Xbox. And I can't use the Xbox D-pad worth of crap. And I tried using Stick. And I can't play fighting games with Stick. It's impossible for me. Stick and keyboard are impossible for me with uh, fighting games. It's just outright impossible. Unless it's Smash. Smash is the exception to that rule. For some reason. I cannot tell you why. But it is. Smash just ignores the rules. Uh, give me a little bit. Okay, um, anyway, Street Fighter 5, I never really got to play on console. Street Fighter 6, the one time I played with Theo, reused the one that clicked with me. Honestly, I didn't try any of the other characters in Street Fighter 6. Um, I kind of want to play some Sam Geef, though. Because I think I could use Say the Geef, but like, I don't know, I like Ryu. I like sticking with Ryu right now. Um, if Akuma comes out and if I pick up the game, I'll probably use Akuma. And I might give uh, Blanca a try, maybe. Um, but yeah, um, that's Street Fighter. Blaze Blue? Speaking of Blaze Blue, I have not played any of the Blaze Blue games. What do I have? What what Blaze Blue does, is it that I have? I have Central Fitson. Central Fitson is the one I have on Steam, but I have not actually played yet. Um, I was gonna do all the Blaze Blues for the channel. I don't know if I can do all the Blaze Blues. I don't know how many Blaze Blues uh, games there are. I don't know what they're on. And I don't know if I can play them if they're not all in uh, accessible places. If they're on like PS3 or like Xbox, I'm not going to be able to play them. Um, I do want to give Central Fits a try. Um, I think people play Hack Battle. I think it is Hack Team Frenzy or Hack Team Battle or whatever it's called. Most of them are on Steam. Well, I may give that a try then. I know there's one for PSP. But, um... I'm not going to be able to afford all of them. Um, I don't want to start all the Blaze Blues until I get them all. Which, you know... That's not going to happen for a long time, because personally, I don't want to spend the money on a game that I'm only going to play once. And not go back to. Um, I say that when I've only played the Sonic Hay games once, or the East games once. Or, you know, a lot of the games that I've bought that I only played once. But, you know, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but Blaze Blue... The characters that interest me the most, and Melt, he's gonna hate me for this. The one that interests me the most. Who do you think interests me the most in Blaze Blue hate? Who do you think interests me the most? There are three characters that interest me in Blaze Blue that I can think of. 
We're not counting, like, Hack Battle. That's a different one. Move Bert Why move Bert Hain? Why move Bert Hain of all characters? What? <laughs> I don't even know how move Bert Hain plays. Aren't, like, all Bert Hains, like, the same? Move Bert Hain, New Bert Hain, Lambda Bert Hain? Don't they all play, like, very sim similarly? Ah. Actually, the one... Here's the ones that interest me. Makoto is one that interests me. Why? I don't know. Uh, Makoto seems interesting to me. Um, Isayoi seems interesting to me. What's it, Isayoi? Yeah, I know, I mean, you can look at Mako. Mako's probably like Leo, I'm assuming, right? She's got those little hombos like Leo does. I'm assuming she's similar to Leo. Isayoi, I don't know anything about. I don't know how most of the characters play. The only character I know about is like, Rachel. But more Rekka? Oh, goody. I'm not a big Leo fan myself. I don't like really using Leo. I don't like fighting Leo. But, you know, we'll get the Guilty Gear in a little bit. Um, so yeah, um, Makoto Isayoi, I don't know what they do. Um, I only know what Rachel does, because I've seen Rachel enough. Um, uh, I know what, um, Arakune does, because Arakune is just... All over the place. Arakune is kind of dumb. <laughs> um, Arakune, I don't think I want to play though. Um, the one that interests me the most, though, outside of uh, Arakune, was he was spouse. Yeah, he seems weird. He seems hard to use too. Um. Outside of Isioi and Makoto, S. S is the one that interests me the most. But the thing is, even if I wanted to use S, I think she's a uh, Stance character. And I can't... I I'm bad with Stance characters. And I think she uses Stances. I think she has, like, two different Stance forms. I don't know. I don't know how S plays. I can't look at her, uh, gameplay. Honestly, I can't look at the higher cast to see who, uh, I like in terms of how they play and how they look and all that. But yeah, Arakune, Arakune. Uh, Isayoi Makoto S. Those three are the ones that probably interest me the most. I might look into Rachel as well. Rachel seems like she could fit my play style, but I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's that. I don't know what this is. Is this, uh, Capcom versus SNK? If this is Capcom versus SNK, I could... Hey, where'd you go? Why'd you go up there? S is just Kai? Really? S is just Kai? I only think that would have been, like, um, Jin. You know, the guy that's, like, the counterpart to, uh, Ragna. I'm thinking Ragna's soul and Jin is a Kai. Huh. So, Capcom versus SNK. Technically, there's, uh, Capcom versus SNK who I play. And SBC Chaos is part of that series. So, Capcom versus SNK who... I think it's a really, really great game. Um, I actually use a lot of characters in that game. I use, um, Seagroove. Um, I think it's Seagroove. Is that the one with the rolls? One of them has rolls. One of them has, like, running. I don't remember. I, well, I think I use Seagroove the most. You would think I would use Peagroove, but, um, parrying is kind of hard. Um, I actually didn't use Blanca very much. In Capcom vs. SNK 2, uh, give me a second. Who is in that game? Actually, um, 
Calco versus SK who roster. So for characters that I use, I use uh, Akuma, obviously. Akuma is one of the characters I use. Um, the character I was best with in Capcom vs. SNK, who? Who do you think it was? Take a wild guess who it was. My best character was my. For some reason, my was my best character. Gam was also one of my best characters. For some reason, in that game, Gam was one of my best. Um, other characters that I use, of course, Akuma is one of my better characters. Uh, Athena. Athena was a character I was good with. I used some Balrog, but not that much. Uh, Glonka I used very little of. Um... I tried to use Geese, but I'm back with Geese. Uh, Geese is hard for me to use in that game. Um, I use a little Guile. I actually use Halamaru. But I use Halamaru, uh, Halamaru more so for the memes. Because, you know, the Heavy Slash. Heavy Slash is broken with Halamaru. <laughs> um... I use a little Bison. I use Nakamuru. Nakamuru is a character I use a lot of. Um, Rugal is a character I use a lot of. I'm actually pretty decent with Rugal. I'm also pretty decent with Harry. And I also use... Um, I also use a little bit of Yuri. So yeah, um, my main team is usually Akuma, Mai, and Gan, but you might also see, like, Harry, Yuri, Rugal, Athena, Nakaruru, Halamaru. Those are the main ones you can see from me. I tried some of the others, like, I tried, um, Kim, I tried Morgan. You would think I'd be somewhat decent with Morgan, but I'm not that great with Morgan for some reason. And SBC Chaos, I don't know if it's on here. If SBC Chaos is on here, that's going to be in its own thing. It's hard to tell what game is what. Just looking at the, um... Looking at this list. I don't see SBC Chaos. If it is here, I do not see it. Morgan is like a weird Akuma. Um, SBC Chaos. We, me, hate give play and little Capcom versus SNK. Maybe Wednesdays, me and hate will do some fight K. What do you think, hate? Do you think on Wednesdays you'll be up for some fight K? Because I'd like to go some more uh, Capcom vs. SNK and stuff like that again. I know there's going to be some lag and whatnot, but I mean, we can't really do a whole lot about that. Um, I might make Wednesdays the fighting game stream, just so, you know, I keep up with my fighting game uh, stuff. Anyway, the other game that me hate playing, um, I think I uploaded this, I don't remember. Um, we also did SBC Chaos, and, uh, Hate might know who I main in SBC Chaos, because Hate probably hated who I used. <laughs> um, do you remember who it was, Hate? Man, Chip Spain goes hard in old, uh, Guilty Gear games. I love Chip Spain. Suck a sage, it's so good. You don't remember? How about this? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's play. K. 
come on, baby. Let's play. <laughs> Does that ring any bells? Let's, let's dance, baby. It's Dimitri. Dimitri's probably my best character in that game. I use, use a lot of Akuma and Harry. But I think Dimitri's probably my best. Gan is hard to use in that game. I don't remember how to do all of Gan's stuff. Um... I tried Zero the last time me and Hate play. I don't know how to use Zero. Zero is weird. Who, Dimitri? I, can, I, I know why I don't bring Dimitri back. Because, you know, they're like, oh, we don't want to program Midnight Bliss. And I don't blame them. But, like, Dimitri's so fun. I mean, he's very basic. He's your Ryu of the Darkstalker series, but, you know, Midnight Bliss is fun. Midnight Bliss is a fun move. And it's interesting to see what, uh, companies come up with. I will say a lot of Midnight Bliss and SBC Chaos are kind of, you know, bland. Like, Ryu's is very, very bland. Ryo's is bland. Kyo's is kind of bland. But, like... You can get some very unique stuff, let's say. Like, uh, what is it? Um, Cross Eggs has some very unique ones. Um, Dark Stalkers obviously have unique ones. Even Capcom Fine Evolution had unique ones. And that was a Mugen game. <laughs> but, um, SBC Chaos, I did play with buddies. None of us were any good at it. Uh, back then, I was best with Harry and Mai. Uh, with some Dimitri. Um, Athena, I tried. But I, I mean, Athena's cheap. Let's be real. Athena is cheap. <laughs> you can't beat her because all of her supers have stupid long uh, um, recovery. Afterwards, so you can punish her for uh, spamming supers if you do it right. But Athena is cheap. Just like Wreck Aramur is kind of really cheap. Um, Zero is apparently the best character in the game. I don't know how to use him. Um, here's my problem with the SBC, uh, Capcom vs. SNK games. Um, it's mostly just Street Fighter vs. King of Fighters. Like, Capcom vs. SNK 2, it was Street Fighter vs. King of Fighters featuring, you know, a couple, um, Samurai Sogao characters and Hibiki from the last play for the SNK side. Um, and it was Capcom with, uh, Street Fighter, guest starring Morgan and Kiyosuke. And, um... SBC Chaos tried a little bit more. It mixed it up more with like it, it's it had Red Earth and more Samurai Soul down and it had, you know, Red Aramur, it had Dimitri. Fun fact, uh, did you know that Nakaruru was originally gonna be in SBC Chaos? I kinda wanna know what her midnight bliss was gonna be. <laughs> Like, what would they have done with her? Or would they have been lazy with Nakaruru? Um... Soul Calibur. This is another game that I put up here. I don't know where all... Do we have any other Soul Caliburs? Guys, do you see any other Soul Caliburs? Oh, hey, here's some more Blaze Blue. Let's go ahead and put this up here. Yeah, it'd be nice to have Ingrid back. I like Ingrid, honestly. I think Ingrid's a good character. I know I'm gonna get sick for that, but, like, I think Ingrid's a fine character. Wow, look at all these Blaze Blues. I'm looking to see if there's any other Soul Calibers here. Um...
You're so eggs. Which soul eggs is a game I've. No, I do play soul eggs. I do play soul eggs. Soul eggs is gonna go right there. Hey, look, it's uh, Capcom versus SNK one, which I have never played. Where is? There's got to be more. There's all the street buyers that I need to put up there. Are you telling me you don't have the other Soul Calibers? There's Soul Caliber 5. I will put Soul Caliber 5 here. Puyo? Was there a Puyo? I can't even see Puyo. We just see Puyo. Oh, there's Capcom versus SNK, who? So, that must have been uh, SBC Chaos, then. So, we're going to move SBC Chaos to B. I'm assuming that's what that is. Um, where are all the other, um... Guys, do you see any... Oh, is that Puyo? No, I know what that is. Bruh. What's all the... Where's all of the, uh, Soul Calibers? That's Soul Caliber 6. We're gonna put Soul Caliber 6 there. Really? There's no Soul Caliber 3 or 4? If there is, I'm probably... Oh, there's Soul Caliber 4. So, I'm gonna organize these right here. There's gotta be Soul Caliber 3. There, there it is. So, we're gonna do this. Um, and there's Soul Calibur. Where's Soul Calibur go? I saw it. I saw Soul Calibur. There it is. So, Soul Calibur 1 is the only game out of the Soul Calibur series I haven't really played outside of, uh, the PSP port. I don't know if that's on here or not. It was like Lost Blades or something. If it's on here, I don't know where it is, so uh, I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, but yeah, so I would like to play Soul Calibur One just to see how it is, but it's on Dreamcast only, so that makes it very difficult for me to play it. And I never played it on console. Soul X, I did play on. Um, I'm, I'm assuming this is Soul Blade. Which I did do a stream of. It's very, very janky and old. <laughs> That's all I can say about it. So, um, Soul Calibur 5, 3, and... Um, 6. I think they're all fine games. Um, out of all three of those, I would say Soul Calibur 6. Yeah, it's all 360. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna trust that. Um, I think Soul Calibur 6 is the best out of these three, honestly. In my opinion, I think it's the best out of these three. Soul Calibur 3 is not bad, but I think Soul Calibur 3 is really slow compared to other Soul Calibers. Um, and I do think Soul Calibur 2 is still the best in the series. Soul Calibur 4 is probably the worst out of the Soul Calibers I've played. Uh, 5, I didn't get a mess with character creation very much. Um, in Soul Calibur 2, my main was Mitsurugi, Sokontes, Sonsmina, and Sophia. And I used the little home. Those were the ones I used. Um, I did try Songwa. Songwa didn't really jive with me. Um, I used Maxi for memes. But Mitsurugi's probably my best character, hands down. In all the Soul Calibers. In all the Soul Calibers, Mitsurugi. My second best will almost always be Songmina. Um, in Soul Calibur 3, it's still the same characters. Uh, Soul Calibur 4, I didn't really play very much. I didn't like Soul Calibur 4 very much. Uh, Soul Calibur 
five. It was Mitsurugi. Who was even in Soul Calibur five? I don't even remember who was in five. But I think I mostly just used Mitsurugi. Um, Soul Calibur six, I used Mitsurugi. I used some song Mina. I use Sophia. I use some song One now. Uh, I still use Harlem, but Harlem's kind of different a little bit. Um, I actually use a little Hubi. I'm not good with Hubi though. She's a little hard for me to use. Monkey Kick. Oh yeah, I forgot about that guy. He also gave us a song Wash Kick. And it gave us Natsu, which, bleh, I hate if I Natsu at 5. Fun fact, in Soul Calibur, where I use Mitsurugi, Safran has, um, if Sung Mina is Sophia, um, that's Pira, by the way, for a, a Patroclosis uh, sister. Bio uses Haki, Cassandra. Astroth, um, and a little Sumina. Those are the ones that Theo uses. It's funny because he uses Haki. I use Mitsurugi. He uses Cassandra. I use Sophia. We both use Sumina. He uses Astroth. I use Harlem. There's a little, uh, weird... Um, consistency going on here. <laughs> a little weird consistency. In Street Fighter, he uses Kami. I use Akuma. He uses Ibuki. I use Akuma. Wait a minute. He uses Chun Li. I use Vega and Blanca. He uses almost the exact opposite of the characters I use. When I was doing Street Fighter V, I tried, I wanted to learn, um, Manat, but I don't think Manat's my character. Um, also, I remember talking about uh, Soul Calibur Three. I actually have some, uh, create a soul characters. I wish I could show you the characters I made, because I have Mario. I have Sephiroth, I have Dante, I believe, <laughs> I, I have those characters on my uh, memory card, if I was able to show you guys those, I would show you guys those, because it's hilarious, it's absolutely hilarious. Oh yeah, SEO. I remember using Gamp here. I was actually semi decent with Gamp here. Oh yeah! I used Raphael. Um, oh yeah, and um, War uh, not Warlord, um, uh, Gown Destroyer. Uses Nightmare. And, um, it's mostly Nightmare. And Raphael. Um,. Theo used to use a uh, sick freak, I believe. I haven't really seen him use sick freak or nightmare in forever, but he used to use them. And boy, let me tell you how much fun that was to play as, uh, as Mitsurugi. Um, there used to be a time back in Soul Calibur history where me and Theo. Used to be able to, um, guard impact consistently. We would guard impact for five minutes straight. We actually did that on console in Soul Calibur 2, I believe. It was 2 or 3. We guard impact one another back and forth for five minutes straight before we actually hit one another. It's including guard impact in super fast moves, highs and lows, mix-ups, throws. Yes, you can guard impact throws. 
we guard broke each other all the time. Like, we were, we got to the point where we, we just couldn't hit one another. We just could not hit one another. Now, I wish I could do that now. But, um, I don't think I could do that anymore. My parrying skills have gone downhill. And Soul Calibur is where my parrying skills came from, if you're wondering. If you're wondering, hey, Sino, how could you get so good at, like, parrying and, like, smash? Um, all the smash parries I used to do came from Soul Calibur. Which, I mean, when you think about it, it makes sense. Soul Calibur is a super fast game. Well, who was super fast? That's the one we used to play the most. I kind of want to play Soul Calibur again. It's been a long time since we played some Soul Calibur. Ah, here you go, hate. This, this song right here should um, give you some PTSD. <laughs> Do you know who Scream this is, hate? Give me a second, I'm making sure that Fauna's not going to be doing a stream. Do you know who Steam this is, hate? If you don't know who Steam is playing right now, it's Johnny's. It's Johnny's Steam. Um, so yeah, Soul Calibur is a game I used to be semi decent at. But, um, nowadays, I don't think I'm as good. The game that I was good at was doing 50-50s with Mitsurugi. I don't know how to do combos in Soul Calibur. All of my damage came from mix-ups and throws. And highs, you know, mixing up highs, lows, mixing up how I do my uh, guard crosses, mixing up uh, throws, faking out with running up and stuff like that. That's how I play Soul Calibur. I'm pretty sure that's how you're supposed to play Soul Calibur. So, fun fact. I'm talking about Soul Calibur. Um. Where is it? I just saw the stuff. I just saw it. So, you see these heckin' games? You see all these heckin' games? What if I told you... I have played only one heckin' game. I played all the Soul Caliburs almost, but I've only played one heckin' game. And it was the original heckin' of PlayStation 1. What if I told you that I was god awful at heckin'? I couldn't play heckin'. Um, that was, um,. That was, um, about, um, Gal Destroyer's game. Gal Destroyer is the one that liked, uh, Heckin' back then. Alright, uh, but he only played Heckin' 1, I think. I don't think he ever hacked any of the other Heckins. Um, I was thinking of doing all the Heckins as well, but I don't know, man. Um, Heckin'. I don't know if Heckin' would even be my series, in all honesty. Why can I not find any of the other Heckins? Um... Like... Just... Just... The gameplay of Heckin' itself. Like, it's a combo heavy game, right? And anyone that knows me, knows that I am not good with combos whatsoever. Do not let, um, do not let, uh, Guilty Gear convince you otherwise. The only reason I'm even remotely good with Cogmos in, uh, Guilty Gear with, uh, Gizzy is because I play a lot of Gizzy. That's it. That's the only reason I'm good with Cogmos in Guilty Gear is because I play a lot of Gizzy. In any other fighting game, I'm trash with Cogmos. I, I just, I cannot do Cogmos. 
Uh, I might try hacking at some point. Maybe I'll do that on Wednesday. Maybe that'll be part of, like, the, um, uh, fight game series. I can't find all the hacking games, though, which, eh. And I don't know if I want to get Hacken 7 or Hacken 8. I don't know if I really want to get the five Hacken games. You know? I think that's all the Hackens. There's some Hackens not on here. So there's like, what? Three, Hacken 2, 3, 4, 5. Six. Go there. Where's Hacken 7? Are you Hacken 7? I think you're Hacken 7. I think there's all these are Hacken games. Oh no, Hacken 7's up there. Hacken 7. Hacken 7. I don't know why that's all the, all the list. I don't know why. So yeah, Hacken I might try at some point. But honestly, in my opinion, Hacken's not my series. Like, I'll try it, but, um, I'm gonna be awful at it. I'm gonna tell everyone right now, I'm gonna be awful at it. If I play Hacken, I'm probably gonna use, uh, Jin. Because, you know, Jin's the main character. Whenever I do, like, the, uh, fighting games, I usually try and make, uh, use the main characters. I did not... Do you got for the, uh, um, King of Fire series? Because that would mean I'd have to switch, like, every team, every game, which, ugh. That also means I'd have to use, like, Keo and K-Gas and, like, some other weird characters in other games. So I just stuck with the characters I knew in King of Fire. Um, but yeah, heckin, I might try. Don't expect anything like super fancy with Hacken. Because I'm gonna be awful with Hacken. Uh, there's so many Blaze Blues over here. Go over there. So, um. Yeah, it depends on the game for King of Fires. Like, it, it's, it's silly. Um. Let's look here. Uh, speaking of King of Fires, uh. The King of Fire series, my mains are mostly the same. My, um, my main is usually my. It used to be my. Now, um, what is that? Is that maximum impact? Who? I don't know what this King of Fire is. Can anyone tell me what this KOF game is? I don't know what this KOF game here is. Uh, most of the KOFs are going to go right here at C, by the way. Um, but in most of the King of Fighters game, I do like 2002, I, if I recall. Yeah, 2002 was a good game. Um, hey, there's another Blaze Blue game right here. There's, um, I'm trying to think. Which King of Fires is good? I don't know what KOF this is. Um, uh, but yeah, um, what was I saying? I do like 2003. Uh, Mai is the character I use the most. Harry's the character I use the most. Um, uh, Athena is who I grab hand towards. That's Max Impact 2. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, I switched from Harry Mai over to, like, Athena Kula in later games. I don't know why. Um, I think Kula is because of KOF 15. I, uh, I was starting to main Kula and Athena in 15. And I do like how Kula plays. I do like how Athena plays. Uh, Mai was always my main, though. Yeah, fair. Kula does play good. And in KOF 15, she felt really, really, really good to play. Um. 
a peanut just, you know, a peanut just fits my play style. Um, and you know, Harry, Harry's Harry. I mean, he's screwing you with the series. Um, I did use a little, uh, Maxima, but my Maxima was always bad. Um, of course I used some Rugal and, uh, AO Hive. Um, I didn't play KOF 13. I never got to play KOF uh, 13. Did I ever get to play 12? I don't think I got to play 12 or 13. Hey, it's Dizzy's theme. There's some PTSD for, uh, hate. Um... Where... are the other KOFs? Why can I not find them? Hey, KOF, where you hiding? King of Fighters, you're hiding. Uh, the other KOFs are probably all gonna go to see, honestly. Yeah, my Dizzy's back in Old Guilty Gear because I don't play Dizzy in Old Guilty Gear. Because Dizzy's a lot weirder in older Guilty Gear. She's harder to use. Uh, I think that's 13. I never got to play 13. What, do you want me to get good with Gizzy? Is that what you want me to do, hate? Because I can go and get good with Gizzy. I can go and learn Gizzy if you want me to. If older... Uh, if it, oh, why are you here? You're in the wrong thing. In uh, Ats Atsar. Yes, I'm going to learn Gizzy and Atsar, guys. Because I don't play Guilty Gear Atsar at all. Am I ever actually going to play, uh, the old Guilty Gear? I don't know. Like, honestly, I don't play, um, Accent Core that much. My like, Accent Core isn't bad or anything. I just like XR more. Here's another, uh, Blaze Blue. So many Blaze Blues. Like, I feel like XR is just better than, uh, Accent Core, in my opinion. I mean, we can always play Xarg if you want. I mean, do you want to play some Xarg? Hey, I will kick your grave and boot you out of your grave. Just play some Xarg. What the heck is that? Oh, that's maximum impact. Eh, maximum impact. That's gonna go down here. Um, so many King of Fires. So many King of Fires. And the thing is, the thing with King of Fighters, most of them is just like C. The main issue I have with the King of Fighters series, what is that? That's maximum impact. The main issue I have with the KOF series is, um... The goth girl with the birds and the GPA. For what, KOF? Are you talking about Moo? Or Mew? Or whatever her name was? Is that who you're talking about? I think I got all the KOFs. I remember her. I remember her being pretty okay, who? Um. Yeah. So, KOF. As you can see. A lot of KOFs I just put in C here. My main problem with the KOF series, and this is the thing that most other series do fine, KOF likes to mess with inputs a lot. So if you're playing like KOF 98, and you go like KOF 2003, and you try playing like Keo, so many inputs may be different. So, you might be trying to do a Rekka, but you can't do from Rekka anymore. You might try to do a combo you use a no, it doesn't work anymore. Or there's some new different kind of combo off of a combo that you used to do, but it requires a different kind of move, and like, ah, 
It was annoying. Like, trying, uh, trying to use Harry in each of the KOF games was so frustrating. Because it's like, okay, I want to use, uh, like, Power Dunk. But the input's different. Uh, I want to use, like, Buster Wolf. But the input's different. It's not here. I want to use, like, Crack Suit. But it's got some weird input in this game. It's not, uh, Core Circle Back. It's just like, oh my goodness, please. Just let me do these moves. Why do they change every single game? Why can you add moves that can take away moves? And can you take away moves that can add them later? It's like, oh my god. Also, it does kind of suck when you get that character from one game that you really, really like using. I think they never show up again. Like, Foxy, I feel... I feel for you Foxy players. That you never get to see Foxy again or K9999. It's just like, ugh. Um... I will say, um... The KOF series did get better with the uh, mechanics, but like... Don't play arcade mode! If you want to save your sanity, don't play arcade mode. <laughs> because your sanity will go out the window if you try to play arcade mode. I don't even want to imagine how arcade mode is on the, ho on the highest difficulty. Like, how bad is Magaki and Ignis on max difficulty? Like, if I had trouble with Magaki and Ignis on normal difficulty, or even on the easiest, I think I played on the easiest, didn't I? I don't remember what difficulty I played on, but like, if I had trouble with them on those difficulties, how bad are they on the highest difficulty? Like, People talk about Omega Regal being difficult in the older games. Like, Regal wasn't even that hard for me. Orochi wasn't even that hard for me. Gonitz wasn't even that hard. I mean, Gonitz was kind of a pain in the butt, but like... It was Ignis, it was Magaki, it was Mukai. It was basically the guys at the end of the series. In, uh... 2002, 3, and 11. I don't even know how bad ass is in, um, 13. Was it 13? Or was it 12 back then was ass? I, I, I saw the bosses, but I don't, I never got to play 12 or 13. Um, but yeah. I wanted to get good at KOF 15. That was the game I was actually playing before I got into Exarch. The problem is the uh, input timing window is so small, and my risk was actually uh, given out on me. Like, for some reason, with Exarch, the combos are not as, you know, bad for my uh, left wrist. The combos in uh, KOF 15 are bad for my wrist. They actually make my wrist cramp up something fierce. Um, so yeah. That's kind of why I dropped the 15. I also dropped 15 because I heard online was bad for 15. I don't know if they ever fixed it. Um, yeah, um, not letting Magaki ever hack. Good luck with that because, um, Magaki's a jerk. <laughs> um,. But yeah, if I ever go back to 15, I will probably still use uh, Kula, Mai, and Athena with some Harry. It got fixed. The thing is, do I even want to play online with KOF 15? I don't even have 15 installed on my uh, PS4. And keep in mind, I use PS4, so who knows how the online connection will be with a PS4. I also am not really big on playing random people, so there's that. I prefer playing people that I somewhat know. 
I know, I know you never said I had here, but like, that's also kind of why I didn't play. I, I'm not big on playing random people. Um, the online was bad back then, and my risk was, um, you know, bad. So yeah, that's KOF. It's an okay series. I don't mind KOF. I like Street Fighter better than KOF, though. Probably because I start him with, uh, Street Fighter. And, uh, I know the characters in Street Fighter more. Yes, my risk is still bad. Uh, my risk... My risk will always be bad. On that arm. And that's my left arm. That's the arm with the, uh, D-pad. So, that would tell you, uh, a lot. Um... I will not go into details on why it's bad. Um, if you want to know that, hey, I can tell you that in Discord. But, um, yeah. You might already know why. Um, it doesn't stop me from playing fine games, though. Obviously, it didn't stop me from being, um, somewhat okay at XR. I still don't think, I, I do not think I am that great at XR. I think I'm just okay. At XR. I think, even though fighting games are my special, hey, I think I'm just okay at them. If I were to actually get into them, like, get get into them, like, say, Justin Wong and Maximilian do do, um, I think I could be good at them, but I think I'm just okay. And I don't play them as much because, um, if you don't know, I have a bit of a temper, especially in regards to myself. And, you know, I get annoyed at specific things, like throws. We'll go over that another time. Now, um, when me and Hate play Idol Showdown, Idol Showdown's not on here, but, um, I'm gonna put Idol Showdown around B or C right now. Um, Hate was going to throw crap out of me. But you know what? I didn't really get mad. If anyone was uh, listening to the stream, I didn't really get mad. You know why? Because it's a game we were both just playing. It's not a game that I was actively trying to get good at. It's not a game that I know someone, like, say, Street Fighter. Where, you know, why am I give throne all the time? Or Soul Calibur, where, you know, it's easy to dodge throws. Um. Me getting thrown in Idle Showdown didn't really annoy me, because it's just like, okay, I got thrown. Um. I'm certain it's thrown combos, but like, for the most part, throws are just like, okay, I just threw you. Coco is annoying. Because if she grabs you, it hurts. And guess what, hate? I learned something about Coco. You know her little flame breath move? You know that flame breath move that she has? If you stack that up enough, it powers up her command grab. So, the command grab does a lot of damage on its own. But if you keep stacking up the flame... Uh, status of the opponent again do the command throw and does even more damage. It's funny that I grab a towards Coco too, because you know, you would think that, hey, I would go with like Boat Hand or Boat Han or, um, you know, a Sonar. But like, I, I like Coco. I think Coco actually works for me in, uh, I also down. For now. I mean, I was starting to learn her combos a little bit, so, I mean, that might help. She's a grappler that, can, that I can actually combo with. I cannot combo with Sandeep. I cannot combo with Pemkin. Kakarot's kind of a rough fight, not gonna lie. But honestly, uh, Boathan's probably the hardest character to fight, I feel. Especially for, um, Coco. Ayame was bullying for a little bit until I figured out how to, uh, punish Ayame. Um. Let's see, what is this? 
Is this... Is that Primal Roar? What if I told you I know absolutely nothing about a Primal Roar? Yeah, uh, I wouldn't say that... I would not say that about Hemkin. Uh, but Hemkin can zero a death everyone in the game. But Hemkin can outright kill you for full health. In the corner. Slayer cannot kill you at full health in the corner. He can almost kill you. But Hemkin can outright kill you in the corner at full health. And full, uh, meter. So I don't know anything about Primal Roar. At all. That's maximum impact, too. Yeah, if Hemkin hits you with a uh, six eggs, you lose. One counter hit six eggs is all the eggs where you lose the max. That's all the eggs for, for, for uh, Hemkin to win. Um, dead or alive? I mentioned this on stream the last time. Um, I have one Dead or Alive game. It's Dead or Alive 2. Um, I don't remember Dead or Alive at all. Is there any more Dead or Alives? I'm looking to see if there's any more Dead or Alive. I think that I think that's a uh, Dead or Alive 2. I have one of the Dead or Alives. I just don't remember which one. Yeah, it's basically just horny hacking. You're right. That is what Dead or Alive is. Um, will I do all the Dead or Alives? I don't know. I don't even see the other Dead or Alive games. There's simply more Dead or Alive. Um, if there are... Oh, there's KOF 13. I found KOF 13. Um... Dragon Ball Fire C? I don't think that's a game for me. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think DPC at a C is for me. I say that because of the combo system of that game, but um... I really, really do not think that game's for me. At all. I think that game is absolutely bad for me, and I will probably never play it. I'm probably just never gonna play it. <laughs> um, if I were to play it though, who would I use? Well, if I were to play it, it's another arc system game. Who do you think I would use in that game if I were to play uh, this game? Take a wild guess. I have five characters in mind that I would probably play. I'm pretty sure Kronoa is not a playable character in that game. Which is interesting that Kronoa was never played. Uh, no. The characters that interest me is... Android 21, not the lab coat one, but the original Android 21. Um, uh, Krillin, Piccolo, Vegeta, and Cell. And Trunks, kinda. But those are the ones that interest me the most. Those are the characters I actually like from, uh, DBC. Now, how good will I be with any of them? Who knows? I sure don't. Hey, there's a heckin' game right here. Heckin', get out of here. Why are you here? Get out. Um. One Piece. I don't really care about One Piece, in all honesty. I know nothing about that game. Uh. This is a game. This game right here, My Heroes One's Justice, who? Uh, I also have one. I, I don't know if one's on here, who? It should be, but, um. 
I have this for the Switch. I've never played it. Maybe I will play that for a stream. Just, and you know, play it and say that, you know, I played it. I know nothing about the game. I know nothing about uh, My Hero Academia. I don't really particularly care about Academia. Um... Cooler sits in and not Sir on Berg. I am still surprised that Kronoa's not playable in there. You would think they would have added her at some point. Um... What is this? Is this Berg's will fight her? Berg's will fight her, I don't think I would ever really play. It's like... Birds of a Fight is just another, uh, Heckin. I say it's just another Heckin, but it's different from Heckin. I know nothing about Birds of a Fight. Or will I ever play Birds of a Fight? Or probably not. Um, I don't know. I might. Ease Laugh. Ease Laugh. Isn't that the one with the Dragon Girl? I think I remember some Dragon Girl. Um, yeah, real route. We'll get down a little bit. Um, so, what was the dragon girl? I don't know if it's Ease Laugh. Let me look at what Ease Laugh is. Um, Ease Laugh. Oh, that's Ease Laugh who? There's, a, there's another Ease Laugh? Yeah, it's the one with Kidora. Yeah, it's the one with the dragon lady. The one who's kind of like Dizzy. Kidora is uh, her name. If you're wondering what the name is, the name is, uh... Give me a second. Uh... Where is it? I'm gonna add... This. So... The name, this is the character's name, it is Kyudora. That is her name. Oh god, let me change the color. So that's the character's name right there. If you're wondering what her name is, I wish I had a better template. I wish I had a better background to put this on. Um... I know nothing about the game either. I saw someone using her in the, um... In the, um, Gizzy Korg. They showed what she was like, and I'm like, You know, I, I remember her from Mugen. I remember her from Mugen. <laughs> um... Ah! Where'd you go? I don't know if I'm ever going to try it. I don't even know what it's for. It's probably for PC. Um, I can't, I, I can't look at it. Um, Breaker's Repentance. I don't... I think that's a game that Jessica won't play. Is that the one with the General? Is that the one with the General? No, Breaker's Repentance is the one with Pia, isn't it? And if it's the one with Pia, that's not the one with the General. I'm pretty sure Breaker's Revenge is the one with Hia. I remember Hia from Mugen as well. By the way, you're gonna hear me mention Mugen a lot. I remember a lot of stuff from Mugen. Naruto, Sapugan. What if I told you that I actually played this once upon a time? Me, Theo, Warlord, and a few other buddies used to play this on a GameCube. Import him. He imported it. I don't remember which one it was, but it was for the GameCube. Um, I was never really good at it. And everyone wanted to use, like, Hachi and Sasuke and Gara, And I was just like, oh my god. Meanwhile, I'm over here using Naruto and Shikamaru. <laughs> And, 
Uh, oh yeah, they also use Nacy. But yeah, I mostly used like Naru and oh, Sikamaru. I don't know if I used the Hinata or not. I might try the Hinata. But like, it was okay. It was okay. Marshall Masters. I don't know if I even heard of. I don't know if I actually heard of Marshall Masters. Class of Ninja 2? Is that the GameCube one? I don't know if that ever came out in English. I don't know which ones came out in English or not. Um. Interesting. Um. You know what? What I'm going to do real quick. Um. Give me a second, if you will. Give me a second. I'm gonna set up another, um... Another playlist here, because this playlist is almost done. Hopefully this doesn't get me, like, you know... Freaking... Boggy. So, I'm gonna pause this, and I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna start another, uh, playlist. It should be fine. If it's not, then, you know. So we're gonna play all. Hopefully that's not too loud. Anyways, um... I'm gonna lower the volume on this a little bit. Anywho, um... Is that skill too loud? It might be too loud. That feels loud. There we go. That was a little too loud. Anyways, um... What has rolled back? Oh, it's a free download? Is it still too loud? Or do I need to cut it back down? Wow, you're still loud. There we go. I have to turn it real low on, uh... There we go. I have to turn it kind of low there. Um... We'll leave that running. So, this game... Jump Scars... Strife is loud. Um, jump scars versus I don't know anything about, honestly. Um, I don't even know what this is for. What is that for? Is that like, is that the DS one? That might be the DS one. Um, I've heard of Acceleration of Sugary, who? Um, I don't know much about it, though. Battle Pay of Pesa, I've heard about, I know nothing about. So, Injustice. Injustice is gonna go down here. I played Injustice, and I was not a big fan of it. Um, when me and Theo played, Theo used Aquaman. And he made it very unfun with Aquaman. I tried to make it as unfun with Cyborg and Batman. It was just not a fun game. I also didn't really care much for the characters. Like, I'm not a comic person, so like... It just never hit... You know, like, at all. It just was, you know... Yeah, it was just another fine game. It felt... It was just like... It was just a Mortal Kombat game, technically, when you think about it. Um... So, Omen of Sorrow, I don't know what that is, never heard of it. Chaos Code? Oh, it was PS3, okay. Chaos Code, I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that, what that is, that's Dead or Alive 3. You go right here. 
What is this? Does anyone know what this is? Is this Blacky Roar? I think that's Blacky Roar. Yeah, that's Blacky Roar. I've heard of it, but I don't know anything about it. Um, let's see. Um, uh, what is this? Nick Hog? I don't know what Nick Hog is. Um, uh, this is a fighting game. I cannot make this game out. I don't know what this game is. Uh, Blake. Play Arcus, don't know. Never heard of it. Uh, this game, what is this game? I don't know what this game is. I've never heard of Swartz or Blakes. Uh, Blade Roar 2, I don't know if I'll ever play it. Ultra Fight, something, something, whatever that is. That's a virtual fighter. I know a virtual fighter, but I don't know if I'm ever gonna play virtual fighter. Poyo Poyo Fever. I don't know why that's there. Uh, Akatsuki Blimskip. I've heard of it. I know nothing about it. I just know it's a big freaking Hank, and it's annoying. <laughs> um, what is this game? I don't know what this game is. No idea. Gong Gong Never Guys, I've heard of it. Um, did you know they're making a new Gong Gong Never Guys? And did you know that Corona is gonna be a fighter in that one? So yeah, Corona is gonna be a fighter if the next Gong Gong Never Guys. Also, Mario's there for some reason, and Mario has the son Goku Satsu. <laughs> I do like Strive's uh, music, by the way. I think it's okay. Um, Virtual On, never heard of it. Skullgirl. Once upon a time, I was kind of interested in Skull and uh, in, uh, Skullgirls. I don't know if I would ever play a series, though. Honestly, nobody really interests me in the series. So, like, I don't think I would ever pick it up. But it's, it's fair, you know. Um, Castlevania Judgment. So, back when I was, yeah, it's basically Dark Stalkers. So, Castlevania Judgment, I know about. Back when I was doing all those Castlevania games, this was going to be one of the games I was going to play. Now don't worry, we will get this game one day. It may happen this October though. Maybe. Because I may go back and try to do the other Castlevania games. Um, I don't know who I would use. It's not going to be Maria, because I don't really like how Maria looks and acts in that game. So, you know, I don't know who I would use. Um, Fight and Climax. I don't know what that game is. The original Guilty Gear. You know what? We'll get the Guilty Gear stuff last. Let's talk about Fail Fury. You have to play arcade mode twice with a character? Ew. So, the Fatal Fury games. What if I told you I didn't like any of the Fatal Fury games? None of the Fatal Fury games I like at all. And it's not so much because of uh, how hard the Fatal Fury games were. That does ask of you who... Uh, why, why I don't like the Fatal Fury games as much. Um, give me a second. Why I don't like... Hold on. Okay, the, the, the audio is low. Okay, I have to go check my audio. Um, 
But yeah, all the Fail Furies, I just didn't care for Fail Fury games. Like, at all. Like, they just felt bad to play, you know? There's more Fail Fury games, I know there is. Did you only put those Fail Furies? There's another Fail Fury. So yeah, all the Fail Fury games are kind of like all in the same spot. I'm not really a big fan of them. Um, Art of Fighting. I know about Art of Fighting. By the way, I love this song. I love Kai's theme and Strive. It's actually an inspirational theme to me. It gives me inspiration. If that's uh, if that sounds weird to you, I'm sorry. But it, it inspires me. Um, but yeah, the Art of Fighting games I've never played. I do plan on doing them. I will get mad at them because they're going to be old and janky. But hey, in my quest to do as many games as I can and show off as many games as I can, our is going to be one of them. Um, best Gisigia, Gisigia and he. Why if I hold you Gisigia and he is just C. Gisigia and he's not terrible. But like, they could have done more with Gisigia and he. Like, in all honesty with Gisigia and he. Like, Gisigia is just okay. The problem is, it's too repetitive. You just do the same thing over and over and over, and that's just how Kasikia is. All the Kasikia games are just do the same thing over and over and over and over. Like, you know what I want? You know what I want out of a Kasikia game? Give me like a Street Fighter. I want to play as like. A street fight. I want to play like a street fighter game or make it like heckin You know Make it something that's not where you're limited on what you can do Or maybe you could customize your moveset like in like um Ho Ho Don't mind me. I'm also listening to music at the same time. Maybe I shouldn't have gone with a strive soundtrack because it's distracting me <laughs> But, um, yeah. Um. That's the problem with all the Gisugia games, in my opinion. That's another Gagor Alive. Get out of here, Gagor Alive. Um. I never played the Double Dragon Fine game. I didn't even know there was a Double Dragon Fine game. Yes, I did. There is a Double Dragon Fine game. Um. Well, I know about World Heroes, uh, I don't know when I'm ever going to get that. It's bad. Kind of figure that sucks. What is this game? I don't know what this game is. It's all Japanese. There's a meme right here. That's a meme. Aquapasa? Don't know what that is. Fighting EX Slayer? Don't know what that is. I don't know what this is. Um, Fate Unlimited Codes. I know about this game. I think it's Japanese only. Um, I don't know if I would ever be able to play this game. I remember, um, who was it that was broken? Was it Saber or was it Gilgamesh? Someone's broken in that game. Find EX Slayer is Freaky Street Fighter. That sounds about right. Um, I don't know what this game is. Um, I don't know what Universal Warriors. I don't know what that game is. Uh, Karate Foolish. Never heard of it. I don't know what this game is. I can't make it out. I don't know what that game is. Can't make it out. 
Um, what is this game? I don't know what this game is. Oh, it was Lugia, right. Uh, Gundam, never, never played it, never played any of the Gundam games. Oi! Is this another dead or alive? That's another dead or alive, isn't it? Get out here, dead or alive. It's very poorly cropped. Yes, this is a fine game, right? That's a fine game. Um, rival schools. I know about rival schools. Um, I think that's PlayStation, right? No, May. Go away, May. We gone, May. Um, I might try rival schools someday. Maybe. I don't know who I, I would use. Nobody really interests me. And I'm perfect to it. Ian Ains, perfect to it. He's a German guy. Uh, Vampire Savior. I am gonna put. Is another Bliss Hank game? Oh. I am putting Darkstalkers at A. I do love me some Darkstalkers. For those who are wondering. I use four characters in Darkstalkers. It should be obvious. Dimitri. Jaga. Victor. And Anacharis. Now, my Anacharis and Victor are awful. They're not my actual mains. I use them, but they're not my mains. Dimitri and Jaga on the other hand. Or my mains. Um, if me and Hay ever gets a play, Dark Stalkers, which we might, we probably will. I'm probably gonna be super rusty, but um, I still remember how to do some things. Baby Hood, Jaga, Morgan. I don't remember who Theo used. Um, Theo used Sienko. Sasquatch, Morgan. I don't remember who else he used. But at some point, I do want to play some more Dark Stalkers. Hopefully, with hate. Uh, we're both going to be probably very rusty at the game. I don't remember much. Yeah, I haven't played Dark Stalkers in forever. Um. I say that, I played it on the Switch. Out of the um, Capcom um, buying game collection. I kind of want to have the PS4 version instead of the uh, Switch version, but what can you do? Um, Melty Blood. I know about Melty Blood. Now, here's a fun story about Melty Blood. Back when I used to play, um, this is May's theme. This is May's theme. Back when I used to play Soku a lot, people tried to get me to play Melty Blood. And I remember trying it for a little bit, and I couldn't play it. I could not combo... I could not combo in this game. And honestly, I don't even think I would have enjoyed Melty Blood very much. Now... I know of some of the characters. Um, I know of Arquake, I know of uh, Siki, Hisway, Kohaku, um, Satsuke, Akiha, all those characters. This is Disaster of Passion. It goes in order of the characters. Um, so the next one's probably gonna be, um, I'm gonna say, Milia's next? Is it Milia? No, that's Axel. Axel's next. Alright, so, Street Fighter EX3. I remember enjoying playing Street Fighter EX3, personally. 
Um, well, I don't remember EX3 that well. I never got to play with people in that game. It's a very weird game. It's a very weird game. Um, Hyper Fighting. I never played much of uh, Hyper Fighting. I was a uh, turbo player. I didn't get to play Hyper Fighting as much. So, you know. Um. There's other Street Fighter. Street Fighter Alpha. Alpha 1, I'm not a big fan of, honestly. It's okay, but, you know, it's not my big game. I'm not big on Street Fighter Alpha 1. Street Fighter EX Plus, I don't even remember this game. I remember nothing about uh, Alpha Plus or uh, EX Plus. Hyper Fight? Oh, that's not a Street Fighter game? Then I don't know what that game is. It's a Mugen game? Oh. Okay, then. Um. What's all the other Street Fighters, then? I don't know what this game is. I can't make it out go up there. <laughs> I don't know what this game is. Never heard of it. Uh, I'm looking to see if there's any other games that I don't know. Um. Yeah, you see Marvel. Oh, there's a there's another R fight, and I didn't know there was a third one. Okay. Um. Pocket Rumble, never heard of that. Um. Oh, there's another King of Fighters. This will be open with all the other KOFs. That was the Sailor, it's the Sailor Moon game. Oh, I see it now. Actually, I did play this. What if I told you I did play this? I don't remember it. I remember nothing about it, but I did play it. Maybe I should show that off someday. Um, Aggressor, I've heard of this game. I know nothing about Aggressors of Dark Combat. Uh, there's Street Fighter Alpha 2. Alpha 2 felt like it was okay. That's gonna be a common theme here. It's just okay. Where did... It's right here, okay. A Gundam Wing fighting game? I never played Gundam Wing. Um... I've heard of this game. I know nothing about it, though. It's got based off, like, Kimono Friends or something. Wasn't Kimono Friends, like, um, super popular back in the day? Like, I remember hearing a lot about Kimono Friends. I've never heard of Windjammers. There's a lot of fine games I've never heard of. Yeah, I know it's Kimono Friends. I've just, like... I never heard of that. I don't know what this game is. I never heard of Metal Revolution. Uh, Rumble Fist, I've heard of. I don't think I would ever play it. Um, Dive Kick, I've heard of. I don't know if I would ever play it, though. Um, there's Spurred Strike. There's my boy. There's my boy. This is one of the games I will put up here as a game of all time. Anime Air Hockey? That's weird. So, Bird Strike is one of the games I consider one of the best fine games. These are what I consider the best fine games. Which, you know, you are up here. You should be up here. And these are just really, really good. They could be, you know, interchanged. It's Chip's theme. I also like Chip's theme. Um... I saw another Street Fighter. Where'd it go? Street Fighter, where'd it go? Street Fighter 5? Street Fighter 5 felt okay. Honestly. Um, I didn't really get to play much of it, but it felt pretty solid. I would put it up above these other Street Fighters. Um... I've heard of this game. I don't think I would ever play it, though. 
will see. Uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4 is the one I have. Um, I'm gonna put it up here with Street Fighter 5. I didn't really play it much outside of, um, the stream. But I did play, uh, a Street Fighter 4 on console. And I remember being bad at it. I remember trying to use Dan. And I was bad at it. Um, I was really bad at it. Is it? I might have to take a look at it. Um, here's my other boy. Here's my boy. Here's my boy. It's called Super Herbo, but it's basically, it's basically, you know, Herbo. I will call Street Fighter 2 Herbo. One of the better games. It is old, it does have zinc, but it's still one of the best fighting games. You know what, hey, we should play some Street Fighter 2. I want to see if I could do some of the stuff that Justin Wong did with, uh, Blanca and Sanky. I probably won't, because I'm bad at it. We don't talk about Street Fighter 2 Arcade. We don't talk about Street Fighter 2's, um... We don't talk about Street Fighter Hughes, um, <laughs> AI, because it's bad. It's really, really bad. I don't think Fauna's streaming today. Wow, that's wild. She's probably, uh, not feeling good again. I mean, you know, I can imagine that. Um, let me... Let me go check. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing her stream. Yeah, the rest of the game's fine. Uh, when me and Theo played, we played, um, I think it was, uh, Ultra Street Fighter 2. It was the, uh, HD person. But, like, we played the original 2, and, like, fights just end. Like, fights just end in, like, 10 or 15 seconds, if you do right. Like, that is a high damage, quick, round game. And did you know that in, um, in, uh, Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting, Sandeep was, like, the best character in the game? Sandeep was one of the best characters in the game. Alright, I will be right back. I need to go somewhere in the foyer and uh, take care of something. So I'll be right back.
I um I forgot to put up my um I'll be back um my BRB uh thing. My bad, sorry guys. Um <laughs> I um whoops Alright, so um let's see. What was I talking about? Also, this is a Hampton scheme, if you're wondering. Um, I don't know what this game is. Is there any other Street Fighter guy I missed? Uh, Street Fighter the movie. Oh my god, Street Fighter the movie. What if I hold to Street Fighter the movie's actually okay in the way it plays? It's actually an okay fine game, but overall, you know, our Street Fighters are better. That's Fisk of the North Star. Well, if it's Fisk of the North Star, maybe I'll give it a try someday. Maybe. I'm a silly clown. I'm, I'm always a silly clown. I can relate to Hemkin. Street Fighter Cross Hecken. Never got to play. Um, I like how they have it on Steam, but you can never buy it on Steam. Um, I was going to play this as part of the uh, Street Fighter series I did. And it was going to lead into the Hecken series. Afterwards, but I couldn't get the game. I could not get the game. Unless it is on Steam somehow. Um Street Fighter Something Plus. Yes, two plus. What game? Street Fighter EX Plus 2? Or, uh, what, what, what game? There's a, there's a Godzilla fine game, really? I never even heard of a Godzilla fine game. I just saw Dead or Alive. Get out of here, Dead or Alive. Street Fighter Cross Hacking. Was it really that bad? Was it really that bad? I don't know what this game is. I cannot read it. There's a uh, real bout. Go away, real bout. Where's all the other real bout? Where all the Fatal Furies go? Right here. Um, there was another Street Fighter Alpha 3. It had safety practices. Ah, uh, right, the paint and win with the gems. Street Fighter Alpha 3? I am gonna throw up here. I think Street Fighter Alpha 3 is probably the uh, third or fourth best Street Fighter. Now, it is a little old, there are some really cheesy things, but in all honesty, I think Street Fighter Alpha 3 is, it's okay. Half the game was paid DLC. Oh yeah, because the characters, right. That was pretty lame, in all honesty. Uh, hey look, original Street Fighter. You know where this is going? It's going to the trash bin. We don't talk about original Street Fighter. That's more virtual fire. I think those are both virtual fires. What's virtual fire? Some of the game modes? Who? Really? Man, you know what? I'm actually starting to really like the Hemkin's theme here.
I think I like Hampton Steam and Stry. Wow. That was really good. This is Faust. <laughs> I don't think there's any more uh, Street Fight, uh, right? Well, there's Jump Fighter, which... I'm not really a big fan of Jump Fighter, honestly. It's kind of just, you know, fair. I'm not really a big fan of it. It's just... Eh, you know. Um, the JoJo game. Let me talk about the JoJo game. They increase words. Um, uh, I thought about doing the JoJo games at some point. Fun fact, JoJo's is an anime that I watch. You have to get physically. Wow. And I can't really do that. Because that's PS3 only, I think. Um, but yeah, the JoJo games I thought of playing on stream. I don't know how well that's gonna go. Um, I, I mean the original JoJo's. I don't think if I can do the uh, new JoJo's. I don't even know if I saw the new JoJo's. Yeah, this the uh, new game one, I believe. One of them is, anyways. Um, Mark of the Wolves. I'm actually gonna put Mark of the Wolves down here. Like, it's not a bad game. For what little I play. My main issue is, there's, like, nobody I really care about in that game. And the roster is super tiny. So, it's like... All-Star Malice on Steam. That's, that's assuming that my computer can run it, who hey. I don't know if it can. Uh, but yeah, like, Mark of the Wolves is so tiny, guys, like, I don't know. I don't know how much I would enjoy playing who makes of uh, Mark of the Wolves. I have it on PS4. I play it for uh, the stream when I get all the Fatal Furies and Cake of Fighters. It was just, it was okay. It was just okay. It wasn't anything super uh, fancy to me. Um, that's Jump Force. I know about Jump Force. 8 gigabyte of RAM? Yeah. Um, Jump Force? It's a very bad game, if I recall. It's not a good game at all. I remember seeing, um... Alpha Rag play. Does Alpha Rag even exist anymore? I have not seen anything from Alpha Rag in, like, a long time. He kind of just disappeared after the Smash scene died down. It feels like. Um... I swear there's another Street Fighter I miss. Is there not another Street Fighter? Really? Okay, I don't see any other Street Fighters. So we're free of Street Fighter. He's still doing things? I just never see him recommend it to me. Like, at all. What is that? Oh, that Samurai so down, something, something. So, here's the thing about the Samurai Sogal games. I'm actually gonna place them all right here, in the gate here. I've played all the Samurai Sogals. And, I'm sure there are people that really like the series. But for me, personally, it's not my kind of thing. In all honesty. Um, I think that's the new Samurai Sogal. I never got to play it. He's a variety streamer now. I kind of miss his Smash stuff. His Smash stuff was fun to watch. Because there was so much silly stuff that happened. And you're saying my content ain't, uh, meh? 
hate. My content's not meh. Uh, you, you. Don't just pause it. You, who pause. Wow, you, who actually paused on me. Whoa! Whoa, okay, don't, don't do that. Yeah, I don't remember the last time I watched Alpha Rat, but I mean, I don't think I'm that funny. <laughs> I don't think I'm that funny. I don't think I'm that interesting. So, I do find it, I do find it really wild that people do actually watch my content. Because I really, I really don't think I'm that funny or interesting. But that's me. I'm very hard on myself. By the way, this is a Milia scheme, if you're wondering. Uh, I don't know what the Samurai Sogal game is. I don't think I've actually heard of this Samurai Sogal game. Um, uh, where's the other Samurai Sogal? Also, I do like uh, Milia's theme in this game. It's kind of really nice, honestly. But yeah, uh, Samurai Sogal, uh, the series. I didn't really jive with the series, honestly. Why are you down here? Get up there. Like, the series just never jived with me. It was kind of just, eh. You know? Was there another one? Did I go past a Samurai Sogal? If I did, oh, there it is. Samurai Sogal 2. Like, it felt really janky to play is the problem. For those who are wondering, I did use Hawamaru and Nakaruru in all the games. I wanted to try Iroha and uh, Mina in the later games, but like, I never did. Um, Samurai Spirits. How is that any different from Samurai Sogal? I don't know if I played this one or not. Um, there's another blade. There's a fur blade roar. Really? I do not know if there was a fur bloody roar. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I never knew if there was a fur blade roar. I thought there was only one, honestly. So let's talk about, like, um, X-Men Children of Adam. I have never played it. At some point, I will play it. Actually, did I never play it? I don't think I actually played it, did I? I need to, because it's uh, before, um, X-Men vs. Street Fighter. X-Men vs. Street Fighter was, it was okay. It was just okay. Same with... If I can find it... Um... Where is it? Is, uh, Marvel vs. Street Fighter not here? Yeah, it's a uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Um, there's Marvel vs. Capcom. I mean, Marvel vs. Capcom one is okay. I didn't jive with Marvel vs. Capcom one. Now, Marvel vs. Capcom two, on the other hand, I will say it's one of the better fighting games. I love Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Now, I would never go professional with this game because of how cheesy the game is. And I don't think I could do all of that anyways because my hands aren't, you know, gonna let me. But it was just fun and just button massing. Um, if you're wondering, I use, I use Cable. We all bam him 
as a house rule because uh, Cable was broken. So Cable, Psylocke, Akuma, Dan, um, Gambit, Guile, Sakura, Charlie, um, I can't remember everyone. I used a decent amount of characters in that game. And it was a game that we all got him asking a lot. I think this is, uh, Sato's theme. Um, I don't even think I used any of the Dark Stalker's characters in that game. I don't think I used any of them. I might have tried Anacharis, but, like, I don't remember using him that much. What I do like about Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is it wasn't just Street Fighter vs. X-Men. It mostly was. Like, they actually tried acting in characters not from, you know, Street Fighter exclusively. Um, did you know Ruby Heart was supposed to be a Dark Stalkers character originally? Um, so what? For Capcom, we have, um, uh, Street Fighter, Dark Stalkers, um, uh, Mega Man, you got Hayat, and you got, um, you got Striker. Oh, yeah, Amigo was also supposed to be one. I think. But yeah, it's like, they, they had a big, very roster. Aminko, I think, was also supposed to be from Dark Stalkers. I don't remember. Now, I played some of uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I don't remember Marvel vs. Capcom 3 that much. I really don't. Um... When I played Marvel vs. Capcom 3, um, I used Amarasu. I used Amarasu, Godhei, and Akuma. But, you know, I never played the game that much, so I was never really good at Theo. Theo used, like, Dr. Doom and, you know, other characters, um, yeah, I know Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is a broken, jank mess. I mean, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is no better. I play one bird of pop here. Who was that? Amarasu? Gonhe? I'm assuming it's Gonhe, because Gonhe is always scum. Um... And then, there's this game, right here. Marvel vs. Capcom, got hey, Virtual is zero? Really? So, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Many, many times I consider getting this game. I have it on my wish list on Steam. A song though, um, but yeah, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, it's, it's the same kind of as bad as it is, apparently. Because it has, like, interesting characters, I think. Also, Jaga, Jaga came back. That was a surprise when I heard Jaga came back. I'm like, what? They actually brought Jaga back? Of all the Dark Stalkers characters, Jaga? They did. They got rid of that. They got rid of his Posseray move. I can understand why. Like, don't get me wrong. I know why they did that. Because that would have increased the, um... Age rating for one. And animating that for every character would have been, um, awful. 
Especially in Freaky. I don't know how they will handle that in Freaky. I say, you know, when more when uh, Mortal Kombat does it. <laughs> so if Mortal Kombat could do it, I'm sure they could do it. But yeah, um, I'm still debating if I even want to get uh, Infinite at all. It is good seeing him in another game. Now, if only we could get Dimitri back as well. But if we get Dimitri back, they'll probably get rid of his Midnight Bliss. And, you know, Dimitri without Midnight Bliss is kind of like... Ryu out the Hadouken. <laughs> Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Um... Oh, hey, there's, uh, Marvel Superheroes vs. Street Fighter. It was basically just an update who, um, X-Men vs. Uh, Street Fighter. Yeah, unless they do a Dark Stalker Spree -y. Where's Dark Stalker Spree -y? You know people want it. You know people want Dark Stalkers back. Break it back, Capcom. Come on. By the way, did you know in, uh, uh, in, uh, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Nina was going to be a, a character? It was going to be Breath of Fire 1, Nina. But they were going to bring Nina into it. I would have preferred Breath of Fire 2, Nina, honestly. Because I think Breath of Fire 2, Nina, would be amazing in a fighting game. Hey, let's have Nina in a Dark Stalkers game. <laughs> Nina would fit right in. Um, anyways. Um, I don't know what this game is. Never heard of it. What is this game? I don't know what this game is. Is it like an Oni Musa game? I don't know. See what? It would, it, it would only make sense if she had uh, our Nina's as a costume. I don't know what this game is. Ninja Master, never heard of it. Um, I don't know what UNC Lane is. I think it's just all Ho Ho games. I think it's just Ho Ho in general. Ring Destruction, never heard of it. Slap City, never heard of it. Cardinal's Revenge. I've heard of it, I don't know if I'll ever play it. Um. Power Stone. I love Power Stone. I think Power Stone's a fun little game. I think it was Power Stone 1 I played most of. It's Mass and Palm. That's weird. Also, I love Ramlethal's theme in this game. It's also really nice. It's a thing I have to see. Maybe some day. Um... Project Justice? I don't know what that is. Now, is that Rifle School? I think that's Rifle School, actually. Where is Rifle School? Rifle School, where are you? Rifle School. Rifle School. Rifle School? Where'd you go? Rifle School? Rifle School. What, where, where Rifle School go? Rifle School? Where'd you put that? Where'd you put that? Where'd it go? Hello? It disappeared on me. Okay, sir. Yeah, I don't, I don't, 
I don't know anything about rival schools. Um, Arcanite okay, Imperf, I've heard about. I don't know if I would ever play it, though. Now I'm wondering where it threw that thing at. Oh, it threw it down here for some reason. It took me for more recent ho ho, yeah. Nitro Blaster, I don't know anything about. Actually, isn't Nitro Blaster the one that had, like, um. Um. I swear I know the name of the character. It's like a fighting game based around gouts and characters, I think. I want to say it's what that was. The last plague I know about is an SNK game. We might get that someday. It's going to be pain. It's going to be some pain. Because, you know, SNK games. But, you know, if Justin Wong can do it, I can do it. And I will prove that one day. Um, Neo Geo Battle Coliseum. I don't like it. It is a crossover game. I thought it was. I think I had, like, alt here or something, like, Owl. And it had, like, Saya or something. But, um, Neo Geo Battle Coliseum. Me and Theo played it on console one time. We never touched the game again. Ever again after that. And, um, honestly, after playing it for the stream... After having played it with a stream, I think I understand why we never touched it again. The game is just, it, it's, it's bad. It's honestly really bad. And the final bosses all suck. Like, they all suck. I hate them. It just, it, it, it just felt bad. I never liked it. Give me a second, if you will. Oh yeah, Saber was in that game. I mean, technically, Saber is a galaxy character because Fate Stay Night is a visual novel. Remember that. It was a galaxy visual novel, the Fate series. Hey, look, it's Leo's theme. Great. Um, Persona 4... I don't know if I would ever play Persona 4. Um, I know about it. I don't. I don't know if I would like it though. It was in the. Yeah, I know it's in the Gold Galaxy series. Trust me, I know. I know. Not. I know not because I've seen it, but because I've been told about it. I've read about the series. Let's make that clear. Visible novels are not my thing anyways. I do like Leo's theme. Yeah, I know it's canon of 3 or 4, which is wild. I don't know if I would ever do all the personas, because, um... I don't know if I can do all the personas, actually. So, Red Earth. I have played Red Earth on stream. Where's... I didn't see Blank Strange. But, um, Red Earth... It was really basic. And if you play with another player, you only get four characters to play with. Like, it's such a weird... game. That, like, I didn't really enjoy it that much, honestly. One and two, yeah, I know one and two can't be. I got three. I don't know about four. I don't know if I can find the four. I've seen five. I also don't know how uh, streaming is going to work with any of these games. Um, I know there was a stipulation with four. Like, after a certain point of the game, they didn't want you to show any content. I don't know if they uh, allow that anymore. 
Yeah, I saw five at the game stop, so there's that. There's another Kisuna encounter. Uh, I don't know what the Kisuna encounter is over here. Um, Yagurasu, I think I've heard about that. I think that has, uh, Maryland Sue. Oh, the forest. Really? PS2? I did not know that was on PS2. Wow. Um. Rivals of Ether. This is a game that I'm going to put right here. Me and Theo played this for a little bit. My main was Suckle Knight. Suckle Knight is who I was best with. I also was done with parrying. I prefer Smash more than Rivals of Ether, really. In all honesty. Um, we played on console, by the way. Like, I, I just like Smash better than Rivals of Ether. Um, Waku Waku 7, I've heard about. Is that the one with Fernand Death? That's, that's the one with Banana Death, right? The one that Raukau played, like, ages ago? I know it has mod support, I remember that. Um, you know what game I don't see here? I don't see Galaxy Fight. They actually do not have Galaxy Fight on here. Wow. Uh, Killer Instinct. I know about, I don't know how well I would like, uh, Killer Instinct. Why is Galaxy Fight not here? That's weird. Uh, Hall, I don't, I've heard of it. Uh, I know nothing about Hall. Basra X, I have heard of. I don't know what Basra X is for. This is Nagaryuki's theme. Is that what Hamal is, or, um, is that what, um, Basra X is? Uh, I know nothing about Blade Strangers. I think Supple Knight's in fair too. Oh, Killer Instinct. Uh, I think... Wasn't Salt Hay supposed to be a Blake Strangers? I feel like Salt Hay was supposed to be a Blake Strangers as well. You know what? I'm gonna look this up. What is... Who is in Blake Strangers? Blake Strangers characters. Who is in this game? Um... Oh, quote! Quote from Cave Story. Supple Knight. Oh, Quote and Curly are both in here. Okay. Gunbolt's in here. Isaac's in here. Is that all? Really? That's all that's in there? There's not many characters in there. I could have swore Salt Hay was supposed to be in there. Who? And never hook off. What a shame. Uh, Basra X or PS2, I will keep that in mind. Uh. Oh god, this game right here. I am gonna throw this game. Right here. This is a game that Warlord, or Warlord, um, Theo and Gown love a lot. They play this over Smash more after a while. I didn't like the game that much. If you're wondering, I used Heihachi and Gone Hey. What's a hot Hank? About PlayStation All-Stars being C? 
I I just didn't like the game that much. It just it was not my type of game. Like I usually just memed around with Hey Hoxie because I I was just I couldn't do anything. Like I was usually the first one to go out every single time. Like I never ever won a single match. Honestly, I, you know what? It's gonna go even lower. Yeah, it's gonna go even lower. Like, it's not so much because I never won a single match that's down here. I just didn't like the game. Not only that, I didn't really care much for the cast of characters. Like, Hey Hoxie and Don Hey were the only ones I really cared for. Everyone else was like, meh. Like, I didn't really care much for Kratos. I didn't care much for Parappa. I didn't care much for that princess. It's just, I didn't really care for characters. I didn't really care for combat. And I'm sure if, uh, Bio and Down hear me say this, they're gonna blast me over it. But, like, I just, I didn't really like the game. Likewise... Likewise, if I can find it, Brawlhalla is kind of in the same spot. Me and Theo play this a little bit. Like, it's not bad, but it's not my type of game. Whose music is this? Oh, this is uh, Giovanni's. Giovanna's. I don't like Giovanna's speed, by the way. Yeah, it's, it's not my thing. It's more of an aggressive smash, is what it is. And, if you know, I'm not very aggressive in my fighting games. I'm not an aggro. I'm not an aggro player, at all. Um... Million Arthur Arcana Blood, I've heard about. I don't know what it's for. I don't remember much about Million Arthur, though. Vanguard Princess! I know about this game. I actually know about this. And I think I actually have this game. I think I actually have this game somewhere. It's a Galton game, I believe. I believe it. Is it a Galton game? I think it's a Galton game. Um, I might take a look at it some day. But, um, I don't know. That might be a little bit risky to play on uh, stream. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about uh, streaming it. But we might take a look at it some day. Maybe. Eternal Fighter Zero. Back in the days of like Soku and Melt He Plug and Vanguard Princess. Eternal Fighter Zero. You saw Valkyrie Profile? What? Really? Oh yeah, Iori was in it. I forgot about Iori. I don't know if Lenef is in it or not. But, um, Eternal Fire Zero, I believe, came before Soku. It was made by, uh, Twilight Frontier, if I recall. Um... Hey, hey, can you see, uh, if, uh, if there's any problems with streaming, um... Vanguard Princess. I don't think there would be, but I, you know, just in case in the future. Eternal Fire Zero, I might take a look at who someday, maybe. Um, you saw, wait, you saw Freya? What do you mean you saw Freya? What? Million Arthur Arcana Blood character. I must look now. 
I am looking. Um, that is not Freya. That is Rice. That is Rice from, um, Trials of Mana. I forgot Rice was in that game. So you have Iori and you have Rice. It's funny that Iori's in here at all, because it's mostly an all-female game. Also, I am very surprised that Rice is even here. Like, they remember Rice exists? Rice is... See it, sis? I probably would use rice, by the way. Um... Hatsunoko versus Capcom. It's gonna go with a C here. It's okay. It's another Marvel versus Capcom game. Whose game is this? I don't know whose theme this is. You see nothing about game. It's a very old game. Like, it's from like the 2000s, I think. 2010s. Who the hell is this? Oh, this is Onzi. I forgot about Onzi. I completely forgot about Onzi being in Strife. Yeah. Like, I didn't know who any of the Hatsunoko characters were, but the Capcom side was interesting, because they only limited Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 1, 2, and 3. So you have Ryu, Sully, Alex. And then you have, like, Mega Man, Bone Nut, you have the Roll, um, you had Frank West, which, that was wild to have Frank West. Wait, was Frank West in there? I think Frank West was in there. Um, you have Samanosuke. Samanosuke. Hey, remember Only Musa existed. Yeah, it was Full Nut Rolling Zero. Like, they actually had a better Capcom side in this game. Compare to like Marvel vs. Capcom. Like, it was so unique. Like, that's what they should have done with Marvel vs. Capcom. Don't throw in like 50 Street Fighters. You did not need like 50 Street Fighter characters in that game. It was pretty small, I'll admit. Um. What is this game? I cannot make this game out. It is such a small high hole. I think there's another Galgen Fighter. I think I actually remember this from Mugen. I think I remember the characters from Mugen. It's just really small to see. Um, what is this game? I don't know what this game is. I can't make it out. Like, at all. Um. You know what? I'm gonna tell you this right now. Um, I never played anything past more Combat 3. Um, I don't know if I ever want to play other Mortal Kombat games. I'm just going to be real right now. <laughs> I don't know if I really want to ever play any of the Mortal Kombat games ever again. Because, uh, Mortal Kombat, yeah, it, um, it's a game. It's definitely a game. And more Combat's not my series. Um, what do we got here? 
Cap call fine jam. What if I told you I actually like this game to a degree? Koi Hime Enbu Ryu Rai Rai. What the hell is that? What is Koi Hime Enbu Ryu Rai Rai? Ryu Rai Rai. Who's famous this? Oh, this is Eno. Arcana Heart? Wait, speaking of Arcana Heart, why is Arcana Heart not on here? Or is that Arcana Heart? Because I know what Arcana Heart is. By the way, who do you think I would use in Arcana Heart? There are two characters in Arcana Heart I would probably use. Heart? Why would I use Heart? Why Heart? I mean, I would probably use Heart to show off the story mode, but I don't think I would main her. If you're wondering, the other one that I didn't know, it was, um... I, this one right here, I don't know what this one is. Um, thinking about it. Um, yeah, Arcana Heart. There's actually like three characters. Um, Petra kind of interests me. Parase does. Anyway, I think Parase is a boss character. Um, um, Lilica interests me. And the one that I would probably try to main is Maori. I'm looking why. Why would I want a main Maori? Hmm. I don't know. If you look at all the other mains I have, like, you know. You know. Uh, look at KOF mains. You got my Kula, Athena, Street Fire. I don't main any females. Okay, maybe I don't always main females, but you know. I mean, it's all female, it's a fat game. But you know, you know. Um. So we're getting down the wire here. Alright. Let's talk Dragon Ball. So this Dragon Ball, I never got to play. That's like the uh, Arena Freaky Fighter. Um, it's Japanese only, I believe. It looks interesting, but I don't think I'd be able to play it. Uh, Bukai Henkai Eji. I don't think I play the Henkai Eji games. I think I play the Bukai games. So I know about the Bukai games, and I do like the Bukai games to a degree, but they're just gonna, it's gonna fall right here. Like, I don't know how uh, Budokai plays now. And I don't know if I'll ever be able to stream the Budokai games. Or any of the Dragon Ball games, really. But, um... It's just... It's, it, compared to some of the other fighting games, it's just... It's okay. Honestly. It's just okay. I did use Krillin and Piccolo and Mr. Satan. Sorry, Hercule. <laughs> Those were the ones I used the most. It, it plays like Hekken, yeah, basically. It's, a, it's, it's, it's Hekken esque. Ho ho! I will say right now, and this may be controversial. I'm actually going to put Ho-Ho at B. Now, 
This is only for Soku. I cannot speak on the other ones, like uh, the new ones, like Hopeless Masquerade and Later. But Soku is honestly not a bad fighting game. Every character is unique. There's plenty of characters to play. Um, and you can change your skill set, which is very unique for a fine game. Now, the problem with Soku, it's very easy to get stun locked to hell the back. The weather system makes it really, really awful. I hate the weather system in that game. It is my biggest pet peeve with the game is the weather system. Because it's, it's RNG, it feels like. You can manipulate it, but you can also just get screwed, like, so bad. And some characters are just annoying. Utsuho is annoying. Yuko is terrible to fight. Everyone felt like, it felt like everyone was using, like, Yomu and, and, uh, Remilia and Marissa. Like, there were some characters I never really saw that much. Like, I thought, like, two Alices, if I recall. I thought, like, one Cherno. I thought, like, two Swakos. Um. I thought, like, one Aya. It's just, like, some characters just didn't get used as much. Like, Reimu. I thought, like, one or two other Reimu players. It was usually Yomu, Marissa, um, Suika, Yuyuko, Yukari, Raisin, um, Sakia. Like, half the cast you saw, half the cast you didn't see. So, yeah, it's not a bad game. Here's the other thing, when I tried to replay it recently, like a couple days ago, I got working again so I can not play it again. It's slow. I did not realize how slow the game is. Like, I'm used to Exarch now, and Exarch is fast. Um, Street Fighter 6 is a little bit slower than Exarch. Um, Smash is slow in comparison. Soku is about as fast as Smash. The movement speed is about the same speed. So that's to tell you how slow it is. I, I don't remember it being that slow. Also, the online for it is, um, uh, The online is, um... What if I hold you online is, um, very rough. You still need to, uh, port forward IP direct connect in order to play online, if I recall. That was a thing you did not have to do in so many fine games after that. I don't even know what fine games make you do direct IP connecting. Like, I played this back in the 2000s, I believe. It's when I played Soku. And because it's direct IP connection, you might get really bad lag. And here's the thing. I normally don't play in tournaments. I played in three Soku tournaments. The first one, I got like... fourth place. The second one, I got second place, I believe. One of them I got second place in. The very last one I played in, I got dead last. You know why? Because I got the laggiest players. 
both times. They were both from Norway. Direct IP from US East Coast and Norway. Yeah, um, after that, I never played in any, uh, Soku tournaments ever again. Because the, the lag was... It, I didn't want to deal with the lag. That's kind of why I stopped playing, uh, Smash. Because online, Smash was kind of... Eh. Alright, um... Gigi Rumble Arena. I am going to put here at C. It's an okay fine game. I did play this a lot as a young boy, Link. Um, it was always fun to play against the CPU or players. And by players, I mean like my one or two friends that would play it. Is this, um... Oh, Gold Lewis. I'm like, who is this? Who is this singing? <laughs> um, I forgot about Gold Lewis singing. Um, anyways. Gigi Mall Rumble Arena is a very basic fine game for PlayStation. Um, honestly, it's okay. I, I played it a long time ago. It was very hard to get working because uh, the thing I use to get working is uh, very finicky. I'm going to check something. I'm going to check if I was using the wrong version of, um, of what I was using. I totally was. No wonder that uh, FF7 video was scuffed. I used the old version. Oops. My bad. Um... I might explain why my controller wasn't working initially. Alright, we're getting to the big stuff. I don't know. I don't know why there's chicken nuggets. I don't know why this meme is here. Let's start with Grand Blue Fantasy. So, I'm actually interested in this game. I'm actually interested. I thought of picking it up. Uh, the new Grave Blue Fantasy Versus fighting game. I don't know if that's a good idea, though. I have no idea. Um. I don't know how broken it is. Compared to, um. Like, say, um. Um. Guilty Gear. It's probably still broken. So, if you're wondering the characters that interest me in it, there are a few characters. Um, in the new game, the characters that interest me are Fairy. I don't know how Fairy plays. Yule. Cagliostro, because I hear Cagliostro's like Dizzy. I don't know. Uh, Nor Normia. Um, Belial, I have a little bit of an interest in. Like, only you got interest me. And, um, uh, Anila. Anila's the one that interests me the most, probably. And the funny thing about Anila is she plays kind of like May, I hear. <laughs> She's kind of like May. And I'm not a May player, but I, I like her design. I kind of like how she plays, though. Um, otherwise, I might go with someone else. I don't know. I can't play the game and see. Like, Kakliostro, she might play like Gizzy, but like, I'm not really a fan of the character. Myself. That's Jacko's theme, which does not make, which is not a very good fine game theme. We are talking about Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. This game right here. 
Did you miss the characters that I said that interest me? Because I have a few characters that do. Anila's the one that interests me the most. Alongside Cagliostro and Fairy and Yule. But I don't know if I'm ever going to pick the game up because, you know, again, I don't know if computer can run it. The main tra- Lewayne? Lewayne does look funny. Lewayne seems hilarious. <laughs> I kind of like Lewayne. A grappler? I don't know anything about the grappler. Um, so look what we got left. Do you see the series that we got left? So let's talk about Smash 64. So, Smash 64 is going to go here. I played the crap out of Smash 64 when I was a young boy. Doing. I did not own the uh, N64. I would play at my cousin's house. Um... Or I would play over at, um, Downstroyer's house. Or Gigabyte. Sounds about right. But, I mean, I don't know if my computer can handle it, too. So, there's that. Um. The sequels are better. Um. I will say, back when I first played a lot... And this was when it was in, like, my teens or something. I don't remember when Smash 64 came out, actually. I was a young boy, Link. We'll just put it that way. I made Mario and Fox. Now, if you're curious, how good was I? Yeah, I saw that mod, by the way. Um... If I recall, uh, Nintendo had it taken down, though. Because, you know, Nintendo. Um. Here's how good I was in, uh, Smash 64. Fox? I mostly just use Side B. That's my Fox. That's how good my Fox was. It's still around? Okay. Good here, at least. Um, later on, oh yeah, it was Project M. I could have sworn I could do something with, uh, the Smash 64 one, too. But, um, with Smash 64, later on, when I started playing online with people, because that was a thing you could do, um, I played with J-Scar, and... I use Captain Falcon. Captain Falcon was, um, Downstroyer's main. Back when I used to play Smash 64 and I was, you know, able to use the controls good, I used to have a combo on Link with Captain Falcon that gave 0 to 100 in one combo every single time. I don't remember what that combo is now, but my Captain Falcon was kind of lit. I don't remember how you unlock Falcon in, uh, 64. How you unlock Falcon again? Is that beat the game in like five minutes or something? Yeah, speed run the arcade mode. I think it was five minutes then. Okay, so we move on from Smash a Melee. Now, most people are gonna say Melee is like the best Smash game. I'm gonna put Melee alongside here. Now, I do play Melee a lot too, and it's what got me really into Smash. Also, I really love the uh, final destination music. Music, um, this is a uh, Happy Chaos's theme, which is a weird theme. Um, 
melee is definitely an improvement. But in all honesty, I don't know if I would put it above um, anything else. Hello, Melty. You came in way, way late. <laughs> um, I'll get roll here in a second, but um, in melee, I originally made Mario, Fox, and I was about to ask him with them as I was in '64, and I used Roy. I didn't know who Roy was. I didn't know nothing about Fire Emblem. I just thought Roy was cool. I'm like, man, Fire Sword? Red Haired Swordsman? I like this guy, so I used Roy. Um. Fun fact, um, Gal Destroyer used Marth. But, like, I used to play Melee a lot. Um. We all used to play it in, like, Who Beat Who. I don't recall winning that much. Oh, it's up to 20 minutes without continuing once. Yeah, for that, I would just do the easiest difficulty for, honestly. But, I mean, Smash 64 on uh, default difficulty is not too difficult anyways. I will say some of the challenge uh, stuff for Melee was uh, annoying. The one where you have to fight, um, Giga Bowser, Ganon, and Mute, he was like, oh my god. Ah! And now we get who? Super Smash Bros. Why is Brawl not? Brawl's not here. Where's Brawl? They don't have Brawl? Really? So Brawl would be up here. Brawl would also be in C here. Me and Theo, we play Brawl so long. I think we play, I think Brawl we play for like six, seven years. We play Brawl for a long time. If there was one time where I stayed a night over at Warlord's house, me, Theo, and, um, Warlord. And we played Brawl all night long. We played Brawl for, like, seven hours straight, 1v1. We were addicted in 1v1 Brawl. Now, in Brawl, I made Mario... Fox, and then I dropped the Fox, um, Ganondorf, who was my actual main, and Wolf, and he, and, uh, Theo main Marth, and Matt Knight, and Samus, but he used Meta Knight a lot, and Snake, he used Snake a lot, he Ganon versus Snake, and Ganon versus Marth, and Ganon versus me, uh, Meta Knight was pain. It was awful. So, you may notice. You may notice that I said, I never said that I made Zelda. Did you notice that? When it came to, um, Smash, Melee, and Brawl, I didn't use Selga. I didn't like how Selga played. I was like, man, Selga sucks. Why is Selga so bad? So I never used Selga. Um, funny how that turned out, huh? Give me a second. Give Sino a second. Oh, Beachy's playing, um... Beachy's playing Monster Hunter World. Okay. Give me a second. 
Peach, I was never a fan of Peach. Okay, so we get his mass four. So here's the funny thing about Smash 4. I did play Smash 4. I'm gonna put it here, not because it's a bad game. I only played it once. Me too also played. Are you watching B2? Have you been watching B2, hate? I'm not really watching the uh, Monster Hunter streams. Oh, you play Monster Hunter? I've never played Monster Hunter, so I don't know anything about it. But, like, I tried to watch Iris' stream, and I'm like, I, I couldn't get into it. Like, it's probably a game that's better played. Oh, you saw her use a charge play? I don't even know what Iris or Callie uses. I don't know the weapons. Anyways, um, again, where could it go? Smash 4? I only played once. I remember trying out Paula Hena, because Paula Hena interested me. But Paula Hena was so bad in Smash 4. Like, she felt awful. And this was like after two or three years of not playing Smash. Callie was Hammer. Iris was Laces. Oh, Lances. Okay. Um, but yeah, like, Smash 4, we, I didn't play until like three, four years after not playing any Smash. Because I stopped playing Brawl online. And then I just moved on to Zoku as my main uh, fighting game. Until, you know, eventually I stopped playing Soku. Because Soku I got mad at. Um. But yeah. Only played it once. Now. Here's a game that many people should know me for. This is Viking Steam, by the way. Smash Ultimate. I am actually going to put this right here. See. See. Smash Ultimate, I think, is the best of the Smash games. However, Ultimate has so many problems. Oh, she plays apps. Okay. Um, like, here's the thing about Smash Ultimate. The online could be better. It's definitely better than Brawls. Brawls online was absolute garbage. But online smash? Here's the thing. Offline, you have an innate brief frame delay on everything. Online, you have six additional input delay frames. So you got nine frames of input delay by default online. This does not take into consideration delay, like rollback, not rollback, but um, lag, or, you know, stuttering. So, if you press the button online, you have like one extra, one or two extra seconds before the button came out. It did need better internet, but, um, from what I heard, like, Nintendo was using, like, Windows 95 for the, uh, servers or something stupid. I don't know if that was a meme or not, but, you know. Um. The online actually made it harder for me to play, because with, uh, Smash Ultimate, a lot of what I do is defense play, because... The best offense is a good defense, right? Like, you you remember how we played, right, Hate? You remember how defensive I was? Um... I couldn't do my parrying consistently. And because I couldn't do my parrying consistently, I couldn't fight characters properly. 
Which means I couldn't fight, like, uh, Lucina or Ike properly. It was an Ike player that I used to play a lot against. Um, yeah, they upgraded it, but it was still bad. Um, there was an Ike player that I should have won more against. But because I couldn't parry correctly, I couldn't do the stuff I normally do against Ike, so... He managed to get wins in, which, you know... Online. And Smash... Smash, um... Made me really, really hate bros. Smash Bros make me absolute hate, absolutely hate bros in every single fighting game. Now, I know that people make it a meme with me about bros, but like, if you play Smash Ultimate, and if you dealt with some of the characters in that game, or if you dealt with just about anyone really, you might understand why I hate bros so much. Because bro combos in that game, it's stupid. The worst part is bros are like frame six. But because it's online, good luck avoiding it correctly. Like, the last time I played was against someone in the Fauna Core. And Surprisingly, even though it was U.S. East Coast, like Ireland, the, uh, the uh, delay wasn't too bad. But, like, it was still there. And I knew, for the first time in my Smash career, I could see what the grabs were going to happen. I knew what the Lucina was going to grab me. Could I avoid it? Nope. Anything I tried to do, got grabbed. You know why? Because I did as though as it was offline. It, um... It was frustrating. What the hell is this theme? Oh, this is Heskman Scheme. Heskman Scheme is weird. I'm not a fan of that theme. And then you have some characters who are just broken with bros. Right, Luigi? Right, Luigi? Luigi grabs you at zero and you die. Joker grabs you at zero, you just take a million damage. Paul Hena grabs you at zero, well, good luck, you're getting, you're getting nair a gaff. Um, Mario grabs you at zero, you might die. You might die off of a single grab. That's the thing I did not like about Smash, is if you got grabbed, either you hook like a crap ton of damage, or you die at zero. And it's like, bro, that's so dumb. It's so dumb. If I recall, you used a lot of uh, Donkey Kong, Bowser, and K. Rool, right? I don't remember your GW. And then another thing that turned me off for Smash near the end were all the item users, like Peach, Rob, Link, um... Who else used items a lot? K. Rule was annoying. Um... I hated Rob. Rob was such a piece of garbage to fight. You know what? Let me look at the... Let me look at the list. Let me look at the Smash Ultimate list. Smash Ultimate... Uh, I'm gonna look at this list. Okay, so, characters. Banjo. Did not really care to fight Banjo at all. Steve could go die. 
Steve is gone. You know how they are talking about banning Steve? Steve is gone. He should be banned. Uh, he was banned for a bit. I don't know if Steve is still banned. But, like, the way they designed Steve is so dumb. Like, no. That character's dumb. He's broken. He can kill you at zero. He can block you off so easily. He just gets away with so much. He's playing a completely different game. Now, people are like, not got many Steve's one major. Yeah? You know what? There's still a problem. Now, I say this as someone who hasn't fought that many Steve's. But the Steve's I did fight, they were annoying. I hate a fine Steve. Um, Bayonetta could go die because her getting a free 50% combo every single time she hugs you is dumb. Uh, Bowser? I'm, like, 50-50 on Bowser. I understand he's supposed to be strong. But some, sometimes the way he kills you, it just doesn't feel good. Uh, Bowser Jr., I never found that much. Corrin, Corrin, I'm not, I don't, I don't think Corrin's really that bad, honestly. Cloud, people say Cloud is really good. And I can see it, but I don't think Cloud's that tough a fight. Hello, Melty. I don't think Cloud's really that hard a fight. Uh, Crom, Crom's not that hard a fight. Crom and Crom is not that hard. Falcon's annoying, cause Falcon will just spam down throw every single time for ever for eternity. There's Bridget's theme. Byleth is a little annoying. Daisy Peaks, annoying. The Pits, annoying. Samus, annoying. Diggy Kong, annoying. Donkey Kong, don't get grabbed. Dr. Mario, never really fought. Kasia, go away. I hate you, Kasia. Joker, go away. Sephiroth, I never fought Sephiroth that much. But he's annoying. Mimin, go away, Mimin. I hate Mimin. I hate Mimin with a passion. I hate Mega Man. Mega Man is so awful to fight who. Um, Pac-Man's annoying. Robin's somewhat annoying. Sulk's annoying because all he does is just nair. Nair, 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 grab, nair, nair, grab, nair, grab. Snake's kinda annoying. Um, Sonic's very annoying. Sora's dumb. Um, Ryu and Ken are dumb. Like, a, like, I'm noticing a problem here. I'm noticing a trend. A lot of the characters in Smash are just dumb. Like, they're all just kinda dumb. They all have really stupid stuff. And you think, yeah, that balances the, uh, the cast out. It makes fighting everyone just annoying. Like, I don't mind the fighting Zelda that much. But I can understand why people hate fighting Zelda. Fun fact, my main is Zelda and Wrigley. I use a main called Hana, but like... Paula Hanna was not working out for me, I feel like. And I use a little Ganagor, Donkey Kong, um, Pyra, etc. I use a few characters. But yeah, it's like, not imagine, Sora can loop you to death. Sora can just outright kill you at zero, I believe. And if, if you're off stage, good luck getting back. Like, aside from the online, Smash's biggest problem is it's so unbalanced. It is a broken mess. Now, 
I'm gonna say something else, and I don't know how many of you guys remember this or know about it. The other thing that makes uh, Smash 1v1 annoying, there's the 1v1 multiplier. Which either A, I forgot all about, or B, I didn't know about. And this has been around since Melee, apparently. Where, if you're doing a 1v1, all damage, all damage is increased by 20%, if I recall. Yeah, um, Street Fighter 6 is A. I would put Street Fighter 6 as A. I don't know why, well, I know why Street Fighter 6 isn't on here, but like, Street Fighter 6 feels good. I have a couple qualms about Street Fighter 6, but like, I, ha I I need to play more Street Fighter 6 to um to see how much I like it. But yeah, um, I also don't like the uh, hair list argument for Smash because honestly, anyone can beat anyone for the most part. Some characters are gonna have a harder time, like Donkey Kong versus uh, Paul Hena is awful. It is absolutely atrocious. I did that against Theo. Theo doesn't use Call of Hena. I got free stock as Donkey Kong. And remember, I use Donkey Kong. I could not get a single stock off of his Call of Hena. It is awful. Some matchups are just unwinnable, it feels like. Yes, Sakurai is too good at King of Fires. I forgot Sakurai played KOF. I think he was an Iori main, too. I don't know. I, I don't really agree with it. And some characters just break the game. Like Steve. Steve breaks the game. Um, Kazuya, Ryu, Ken, and Harry. I don't like fighting any of them. They're all garbage characters of fight. Because they just all turn around, and it's like, okay, that's awesome. They just do their downhill, and it's like, what do you do? You can't do nothing about the downhill. You get put on legs, good luck getting back off of legs. Okay, I think that's enough about Smash Ultimate. I could go all day about Smash Ultimate. So all we have left is still here. So, the original Guilty Gear... How funny that we're talking about Guilty Gear when Strive is playing. So, original Guilty Gear... I'm gonna put it here. Like, original Guilty Gear is, you know, a product of its time. It's very old, it's very janky. And, you know, unlimited, um... Instant kills. Um, X X. Well, the X series. I'm gonna put the X series right here. I didn't play it that much. I only played uh, one of them. But like X felt better. It felt more like um, actual Guild Gear at that time. Um. I can't really say too much else about X. Now, the accent core. I think these are both accent core. Oh, um. I never played Reload. Is Reload different from uh, X? Oh, that's X2. Never mind, I did play this. I did play X and X2. I think. Heck and 8. I. I never played Heckin' 8. Uh, I never played any of the Heckin' games, so I can't say anything about Heckin' 8. Um... So... Accent Core. I'm actually gonna put Accent Core up here. Uh... Do I wanna put Accent Core on A? My Accent Core is a very good game. 
It really is. I'm just back at it because I never put practice into it. Um, my accent core is a pretty solid game, I believe. Uh, fun fact. Johnny was my main, for those who don't know. Gizzy was not my actual main in uh, Accent Court. I still use Gizzy, but she was not my main. Johnny was. Great, I, I was still back in Accent Court. I would like to play more Accent Court. Um, we should play some more Hate. Uh, Melty, we should also try playing some more. I remember you making me very scared of uh, Robo Kai. <laughs> I'm just like, what is Robokai doing? What do I do about Robokai? <laughs> like, help! Robokai is killing me! <laughs> oh, I love this theme. This is, uh, Batman's theme. Um... But I was not very good at Accent Core. I will still play it. I probably won't get as angry about throws in Accent Core. Oh, you need PC upgrade? Sad face. I might still get a little annoyed about grabs in Accent Core, but because I don't play it as much, I probably won't. I mean, grabs are still annoying in general, but like, it's Accent Core. I don't play it that much. Whatever, you know. <laughs> now, Hey guys, I'm gonna go with Strive first. So Strive is gonna be right here. I don't know if it's a B or a C for me. I was never good at Strive. And um, I don't know if I really ever want to go back to Strive. Because, I don't know, Strive? Strive doesn't really pickle that fancy for me. Like, it's an okay fighting game. But is it a good Guilty Gear game? After having played Accent Core and Exarch for as long as I have, and then going to Strive, I don't know. Strife is weird with the combos. I'm. I cannot do the combos in Strive at all. It does not agree with my brain. <laughs> my brain is just like, how do I do this stuff? And I'm like, I don't know. Brain is like, I cannot do combos. Um, I'm also not good with the characters in uh, Strive. Like, I was using Ram Leaf, Ram Lethal. Ram, Kai, and Soul were who I was using. Now, if I were to play, I would probably use Elfel and uh, Johnny. But, like, I don't know. I it, it just, it felt slow. When you go from Accent Core and Exarch to Strive, it felt like going from Molasses, if that makes sense. It felt slow. Am I the only one who thinks that? That Strife is slow? Or am I hated by uh, XR? Also, like, trying to air gas is like... Air gassing felt worthless to me. Like, I don't really have a whole lot else to say about Strife. Other than that, but, um... If Gizzy ever goes into Strife... Um... I don't know if I would ever play it still. Do we know who the new character was? Oh, um... It was Agma. Agma was the new character. Yeah! Air gas was like pointless. It was it, it didn't go anywhere. It's like I went usually I'm like I'm not going anywhere. But yeah, even if Gizzy does come into strive, I probably will never play strive. 
Well, back, I got about trying now, Oscar. But Oscar might not be a good idea for me. <laughs> so that leaves the final game. Chicken Nuggets. Guilt Gear at Zark Rev Hume. I'm gonna put this up here alongside Accent Core. I do like I do like Exar a lot. I do like it. That does not mean I don't have beefs with it. I'm sure that Melt he and Hate both know part of my beef with the game. Right guys? You two know why I have a bit of a beef with the game, right? Oh, hey, it's Oscar's theme. Um, if, for those who don't know, and this is a thing that comes from Smash, Bros. Bros, I absolutely hate in this game. The reason being is it's frame one, you have to two frame when go heck out of it. And you can air throw. And you can get stupid combos off of throws. Viking can delete your life off of a throw. Soul can delete your life off of a throw. I don't remember if Jam can or not. Um, Jam might be able to do something off a of throw. But I don't think she can delete life off of a throw. Um... And you, you can just spam it so easily. It's so easy to spam throws in this game. Um, now, this might be a skill issue with me. But in a game where there's like 20, 20, 30 different options. Yeah, you you did have Jam Throne combos, but I don't know if it delete a life like Soul or Viken does or May. May Command grabs you, you lose half your life. May Command grabs you and stuns you off of that Command grab. Go goes about like almost on your life. Um. But yeah, it's like, in a game, in a game where you have like 20, 30 different options that you have to block, and then one of those options is a one frame grab, which you, in my case, and again, this might be a skill issue with me, in my case, I can't tell when a grab's ever gonna happen. I cannot tell when a grab is gonna happen. Because when they're running at me that quickly, you know, they could do a punch, a kick, a slash, a hard slash, a dusk hack, a stamping dusk hack, they could jump at you, they can crouch and do stuff, they can do a special move, they can do um they can run up try to jump back or something, they can run up first. You know, they can do a whole bunch of stuff real quickly, running up on you, and then you have them frame one throw, which you can do nothing about, really, except try to preemptively stop it. And guess what? If you guess wrong, look, it goes about half your life because you got combo uh, counter. Can you see why I kind of hate Rose a little bit in a uh, Xar? And with how spammable they are. Now I say this, and I'm gonna be uh, contradictory about this. Is it contradictory or is it uh, hypocritical? It's probably hypocritical. I use Dizzy. I throw a lot with Dizzy. So, I can't really speak about throwing, being thrown a lot when I throw a lot, but I can still say it's probably still really annoying. 
Yes, these throw toggles are not like bikins or souls or maze. They don't do that much damage, I feel, compared to them. They do set up her own key, which, you know, is a completely different uh, can of worms. But, like, getting grabbed in this game feels bad. Like, as someone who grabs a lot, and as someone who gets grabbed, like, 24-7, it's bad. Like, there should be a, a, another way of dealing with grabs instead of, like, oh, you have two frames of dealing with him. Or, you know, throw out an attack before they try to grab you, and hope, pray to God, that they don't do something that counters it. There should be something a little bit in between there. Am I right? Am I right in thinking that? Now, Soul Calibur does this in a way that I like how Soul Calibur does it. It's probably the only game where I don't get too annoyed with bros. I still do. Don't 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 get me wrong, but. Soul Calibur does it in a way where there's a little bit of a startup on it, which, okay, I'm fine with that. There's a little bit of a, like, between when you get grabbed and when the grab happens, you have a little bit of time to react to break the grab. It's just enough time where if you're paying attention and you notice that you actually get grabbed, you can actually get out of a grab. Now granted, um, we learned later that there's like six variations of a grab. Yeah, it has a more relaxed heck window, but we also learned there's six different variations of a grab. Dep depending on if you're neutral, back, or forward on a uh, grab. And if you do like the uh, A person or B person of grab. So there is a little bit of a mix up with the grabs, but you still have like a bigger heck window. That's something that I feel like buying games to do more of. Hey, it's Johnny's theme. I like Johnny's theme. Like, Street Fighter 6 does this, but like. I don't know what the heck window is for Frozen Street Fighter 6. And when I was playing Theo, I couldn't heck it really. Cause I figured he would just walk up and try and like jab me or something. I don't know when a grab's gonna happen. Again, Street Fighter 6. Same problem as like, uh, Smash Ultimate. Same problem with Guilty Gear. There's like a whole bunch of options that can happen. Grab just happens, and it's it's annoying. Now in Street Fighter 6, grabs don't really do that much damage, and you can't really call them off a of grab. So I mean, it's balanced. In fact, it doesn't do that much damage, and you can't really call them off of it. That's what I think grabs should be like. I don't think you should be able to call them off of grabs, honestly. They're meant for resetting neutral and setting up Oki. They're not supposed to be for comboing, I feel. But that's me, that's my opinion. Um The other issue I have with uh XR, which I don't have this with the other guilty gears because I don't play them as much, but um with XR. The game is scaling. It's just absurd. As someone who's not a combo person and can actually do combos in this game, when I actually get a dizzy combo off, that's like a quarter of damage, if not more, that I get every time I do that with dizzy. That's kind of disgusting. There are times, and I'm not putting anyone down here, I'm not putting you down, hate. I'm not putting you down, Mel, he, okay? So don't hate it ass that way, okay? There were times where I would play Hate or Melty, and 
Max is just ending in like three interactions with Dizzy. Do you guys remember that? Where like, it was like, I just get three interactions and like, the fight was over. And I was just like, how can I do so much damage in just three interactions? <laughs> That's because of the risk, uh, uh, mechanic, but like, I didn't know about the risk mechanic too well. And it, I was just like, bro, I should not be killing you in three interactions. <laughs> like, I felt bad. Like, you would think I'd be like, yeah, I'm doing good at this game. I felt bad. I legit felt bad because I'm like, bro, that should not be happening. I should not be killing a three interaction. Like, that just felt, it, it felt bad to me. Ask the guy doing it to people. So you can imagine how it feels to me when that happened happen to me. It feels just as bad. And it's frustrating. It's honestly frustrating because it's very easy to just have that happen. And then you get people like Slayer. You get people like Slayer who's like, I'm going to punch you once as a counter hit. And then I'm gonna hate 90% of your life. I hate Slayer. So, um... There's that. The other thing I don't like as a mechanic is danger high. Like, why... You get who what? Oh, you hate Slayer? Who? I don't know anyone that likes Slayer. Slayer's dumb. But, um, another mechanic that I don't know why they have is, um, Danger Heim. Like, why? Why? Why Danger Heim? Why act as mechanic in? Like, Ugh, it's so bad. It's so bad. Oh, this is Elfelt's scheme. I was like, whose scheme is this? But yeah, like, um, I honestly don't think Air Throne should be a thing either. I know that's been a thing since, like, Street Fire. But, like, do we really need Air Throws? <laughs> uh, that's just me being annoyed about Throws. Um, a thing that I don't know if I really like or not, and this is a thing I have a problem with in Accent Court. I don't know when the timing ever is. Roman Cancels. It's a unique thing of Guilty Gear. Um... Roman cancels do make the game more interesting, but at the same time, it's like super easy to just, you know, Roman cancel everything. You can just Roman cancel everything. You couldn't do that in Accent Core, I believe, right? I don't think you can Roman cancel everything in Accent Core. And Accent Core has a timing window for a Roman cancel. Um, you know what? Let me go over character sky hate fighting in a XR. Do you guys mind? Who can you think of hate fighting in XR? <laughs> Keep in mind, I have not fought that many characters in XR. Yeah, I know there's some things in XR you cannot Roman cancel, but like, you can't Roman cancel, like, everything otherwise in, uh, Accent Core, right? 
Like, I can't just run and cancel normals, can I? I don't remember. I haven't played Accent Core in a while. But yeah, um, Epsar, who do you think I hate? If you guess May, yes, I hate May. I absolutely love May. Okay, so we spend our seeable interesting. Raven? I honestly don't mind fighting Raven. The only thing I hate about Raven is his command grab. Because there are times, I swear to God, that I dodge his command grab and he still grabs me. Like, I know you can backdash out of his command grab, and I've done that, and I still got command grab. But otherwise, Raven, I didn't really mind fighting. It was just a stupid, um, command grab. And his reversal. His reversal is freaking fast. It comes out so fast. But May's probably my most hated character. If only because she just stuns you so easily. Her 6P is dumb. Whale is stupid. Um... The fact that her command grabs least in a 50% HP loss is dumb. May's annoying. Um... I'm trying to think here. Elf Belt's a little annoying a fight who. I haven't fought Elf Belt in a long time, but I know and I know she's annoying. I know she's an annoying character. There are times where I play Elf Belt and I'm like, man, this feels bad. This feels really bad. Now, um, Morgan can beat my Elf Belt pretty easily, but you know, Morgan's an Elf Belt main, so they know what uh L can do. And I, I can't really call her very well with L. I also don't use L that much. Like, I don't remember her call moves anymore. I have to, like, re-practice them. Um, I don't like Pumpkin. In a degree. But the only time I thought Pumpkin was, like, real early on. And that was when, you know, I was always flying around. So Pumpkin would just grab me out of the air all the time. Um... Faust, I don't like fighting Faust, really. Faust is kind of annoying. In all honesty. Um, Sin, I don't like fighting Sin. Because of his, like... I just get 50% damage off of one move. Like, really, Sin? Really? No, I've never heard Abba scheme. But yeah, Sin, I, I don't particularly care a fight. Um... I don't mind fighting Kai. The only thing I hate about fighting Kai... ...is, um... It's his overhead move. Kai's overhead move is like really annoying. In my opinion. Um I don't like fighting Leo. Leo's annoying. Melia, I don't mind fighting right now. Um, I hate Slayer. Soul is Kaiga, okay. Viking, I haven't fought Viking in forever. Axel, I don't like Axel. I don't like fighting Axel. I do not like fighting Axel. Um... Would it surprise you if I said that I don't like fighting Gizzy? I am not a fan of fighting Gizzy at all. You would think I would know how to deal with Gizzy, but, like, Gizzy is just, ugh. She's so annoying a fight. 
I know why people hate fighting her. She's just, she's annoying to fight. Um. Do I hate fighting Jam? Jam's okay, honestly. Um, it depends on what Jam does. Uh, Batman is Batman. <laughs> it's just Batman. Um, Jacko can be annoying. Um, there's actually a, a lot less characters than I remember. You know, I never fought Johnny. But I can feel like Johnny would be super annoying to fight. Batman is kind of bad, honestly. Um, I mean, for Hemkin's pretty bad too, but like, if for Hemkin to get in, he's rough. Batman, I don't know how to use that guy. Um. I will say, though, Dizzy Players. Dizzy Players tell me that her 6P is, like, really good. But, like, every single time I have ever tried to use her 6P to count her stuff or a poke stuff, it never works. It works for every other Dizzy player. It never works for me. Now, just like, why does it never work for me? I don't understand. Meanwhile, you give me Johnny. You give me Johnny, and I will six people crap out of people. You give me Elfelt, and I'm able to six people and combo them. You kind of miss Ref here. I mean, if you want to play, I could play without using uh, Gizzy or L. Like, I could I could not use Gizzy or L felt if we weren't to play again. But it would probably result in us both getting frustrated. In all honesty. Because, I mean... We played it for like a year, okay? We played it for a year on and off. We both got very angry playing it. You, Kai, Sin, and I would have to say... Honestly, Milia would be your Ferg. But I still say Kai was the best character. Was Sin behind Kai. Actually, you know, Raven would have been your Ferg. Not Milia, Raven. So, in order, Kai, Sin, and Raven for you. For me, it's Gizzy, Elfelt, Johnny. Yeah, I, I understood how you play Kai, so, yeah. I mean, the thing is... Do you mind if I give you a little criticism, hate? Do you mind if I give you a little criticism? I'm, I don't mean this in any mean way or anything. But up to you if you want to hear anything. Oh, music's done. No more music. Music is done. Music has stopped. Well, yeah, you, you autopilot a lot. You do autopilot a lot. You do mass a lot, which, I mean, everyone masses. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. You get 100% blue chart. You get that with Kai, you get that with Raven, you get that with Sin. And, and here's the big thing. You didn't want to learn. I, I remember trying to teach you how to do stuff, and you just didn't want to uh, learn. Like, I still stand by what I say. 
if you were actually trying to learn, I think you could have been a really good Kai. I think you would have been a great Kai. Because you Kai, you honestly had some good things with Kai. And in that note, I think if you were learning your characters, I would reorder it as Kai, Raven, and Sin. Because I think you could have done Raven really well, too. If you had, uh, if you had to uh, learn them. Yeah, you did refer back. Like, when I was trying to teach you about, like, the grinders. Because Kai with the grinders is honestly really, really scary. And you did try it. But you did, you, you stopped using it. You're like, eh, this doesn't seem to be working. And then you just went back to your original stuff. And it's like how I tried he knew how to grab. Well, I mean, grabbing the back game is kind of wonky sometimes. So, I mean, you know. And there was like the uh, faultless defense. I tried he knew because you were guy blocking like Dizzy's gamma ray like so much. And I'm like, just faultless defense. You can block it. Grabbing is, grabbing is a little jank. Because you have to be, like, right up to them. You have to be doing it when they're not in block stun, hit stun. You have to be not running, etc. Um. But I still think you could be a good Kai. If you were to go back and try to learn the game, I think you could be a good Kai. Now, would your Kai beat my Gizzy? I don't know. I mean, it depends on what happens to the match, you know? Yeah, there's the Roman cancels. That's something you need to uh, learn. Now, with Roman cancels, I don't know Roman cancels with uh, Kai, so I wouldn't be able to teach you that. There were a few good, uh, right lightning stuff you did. I remember the ones you did, uh, right lightning in a combo in mid-air on me, and I was just like, oh my god! He actually combo went in right lightning. Yeah, you kind of mask uh, Roman cancels a lot when you uh, panic, which, you know, you don't panic. Do not panic in a fighting game. That is the number one thing. Do not panic. If you start panicking, you're going to start doing wrong things. I forget that. I forget Rike Lightning's air okay, too. You also didn't really use his sword you can that much. Which, um, I think that would have stopped some of my stuff. But yeah, you never really use sword you can very much. Um, other things. Let me think. Let me think. Um. You also didn't know when to stop attacking. And that is what usually got you killed. You would try to keep attacking when it wasn't your turn to attack anymore. Also, there were times I just BS through stuff. Like how I would like Hoogie underneath your sacred eggs on accident. <laughs> or, you know, just 6p your right lightning. Um. I'm trying to think. Anything else about Exarg? His sword, you, you had a hard time getting that. It's just, uh, for down, down forward. It's the same as Soul. Well, you will use a controller, right? Like you could do a you could do a sword you can enough street fire, right? I mean sometimes some sword you can are not actually, you know, sword you can input. Sometimes they're just like some other random input, but, you know. Um, I remember with Melty, 
I don't remember what melt he used to do. I do remember when me and Melt he used to play a lot. It took Melt he a, a little bit of time. Scout trying to J who P or J who K me with uh jam. I mean at first J who K with jam was working like all the time. And then I learned from a jam player that oh, if you get hit by it, just throw jam out of it. And I start to do that, and it took uh, Melt here a little bit. I'm stop doing that, and Roman cancel out of it. <laughs> you see, that's the thing with me. If I get annoyed enough at something, I will take the time to laugh it out. Like with Jam J U K, I actually took the time to go talk to a Jam player about it. With, um, Faust and his doors. You remember those, uh, always hitting me, hate? I took the time to go into training mode and see if I could counter it. That's why that stopped working, because I was actively looking for frames that it was going to happen, and then throwing out the move at the right time. Um... It's like with Raven's Grab, it's like how I knew you could backdash out of it, but, you know, Raven's Grab is janky. Um, trying to think here. What else? There's some other fighting games that's not on this list, like Gear Enough Duel. Like, I know about Gear Enough Duel, but, um, oh, there's Rival Schools. Like, I know about Gear Enough Duel, but I don't think Gear Enough Duel would be a game for me, honestly. By the way, this is in no particular order. This is just, like, its own hair list. Um. You try to learn on the fly? I mean, that's how you're supposed to learn is on the, like, you go, you fight, and you learn, you pick one thing, you pick one thing that you want to learn from fighting someone, and you focus on that, like, okay, I'm gonna try a, uh, anti air, whatever they jump, I'm gonna try to get 6p a work, or, uh, I'm gonna try a counter, during their attacks, see if I can poke through their attacks at a specific time. That's what you need to do. Training mode helps, but it only goes so far. A lot of what you need to do is just fight. You just have to learn by fighting people. That's just how fighting games are. That's how I got better at fighting your Kai. I just fought your Kai enough to where I knew how deal with Kai stuff, except for his overhead. Chaos Code is in here. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not a Kai player. I would have to talk to a Kai player and see uh, what they would know. I I did know a Kai player, but um, he blocked me on Discord. So yeah, that's the thing happened. Uh, I got blocked by a Kai player. Not because we played. We never played once. We never played a single time. But, um, you know. I'm not going to go into details on that. Um, give me a second. Ah, that's the wrong thing. Where is... There it is. Uh, Chaos Code is in this list somewhere. If uh, I know about, I might play about. Where is Chaos Code? I know Chaos Code is here. I know Chaos Code is here. I see. I, I've seen Chaos Code. This don't know less. I know I've seen Chaos Code. Where is the Chaos Code? I know I saw Chaos Code. Where is it? 
Chaos Coke. Chaos Coke. I know I saw you. Are you in this list? Oh, there's Chaos Coke. It's right here. It's a, it's a set of games that I don't know. So I'll go over this list um, one more time. So the games that I think are some of the best buying games, and again, it's my own opinion. Um, Soul Calibur 2, in no order, uh, Bird Strike, Street Fighter 2, Capcom vs. SNK 2, Dark Stalkers, KOF 11, and Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I think all of those games are probably some of the best fighting games out there. Now, the ones that are very close to uh, the best fighting games, or just games that are really good, in my opinion. I wouldn't put 5 as one of those. Honestly, 5 is going to go down here. Um, Street Fighter Alpha 3, Soul Calibur 6, Soul Calibur 3, KOF 2002, KOF 2003, Accent Core, and Exarg. Now, Exarg is one of those games that can kind of like alternate between these two. I do think Exarg is an excellent game. I do think it's a really good game. But I also have problems with it. Obviously, I have problems with every fine game, but you know. I'm, I'm really horn. You know, if I'm going to pick one Guilty Gear game, I'm going to pick this one as the Guilty Gear game and represent Guilty Gear. B, these are games that I think are good. They're, they're good games, not the best, best, but they're not absolute trash. So, SBC Chaos is a weird one. SBC Chaos... Um, Red Who does have mods, if I recall. Um, SBC Chaos is a very bizarre one. I don't think it's actually as good as I put it to be. I think, honestly, SBC Chaos should be down here. So, Soul Calibur 5, Street Fighter 5, Street Fighter 4, uh, Power Stone. This one's going to be controversial. Capcom Find Jam. I think Capcom Find Jam is a fun little game. Yeah, SBC Chaos is pretty dang. Did you know that Bros in SBC Chaos requires meter? If you don't have any uh, super meter, you can't throw. I don't know, I kind of like that as a mechanic. It makes you go, do I want to throw, or do I want to do a super? Huh, you know what, that might be an interesting mechanic to bring back for throws. What do you guys think? Like, it's kind of a balance for throws, in a way. Anywho, um, strive... Uh, for Ho Ho, that's gonna be Esco, uh, Soku, and Smash Ultimate. Like, if I'm gonna pick a Smash game who represents Smash, it's gonna be Ultimate. Sorry, Melee fans, I just think Ultimate's better. You don't think that uh, idea's not good? Honestly, I think Soul Calibur does it best. With bros. I still think Soul Calibur bros are the best well handled. So, see here. These are all just very okay games. Would I play them? I can play them. But I wouldn't go too deep into them. So, SBC Chaos. Soul Calibur 4. Almost every single KOF game is here. Who buttons for bro? Yeah, I think who buttons for bros to be what you need. But I also think uh, being able to have a heck win to actually be able to get out of throws is good, too. Uh, yeah, like, every single KOF game is in this list, just about. Uh, Naruto, the one Naruto game I play. Uh, Gesigia 012, the Gesigia NE. Street Fighter the Movie, which is absolutely okay. Um... 
Streetcar 3, or EX3, Streetcar Alpha, Streetcar Alpha 2, uh, EX2 Plus. Uh, the Sailor Moon game, I recall being okay. X-Men vs. Street Fighter, uh, Marvel vs. Marvel Superheroes vs. Street Fighter, Fire, MPC, MPC 3, Rivals of Fever, Atsunoko vs. Capcom, the original Guilt Gear, Smash 64, Melee, Marvel Arena, Budokai Series, and XX. Yeah, it really should be Light Punch plus Light Kick. It really should be. Like, I don't know why it's one button in some games. I don't know why it's like... It's weird. Is it Jank? I, I remember playing it, but I don't remember it very well. I just messed around in it. I wonder why I is Melty. Why did I mess around in that game? Hmm. Probably the same reason I mess around with some other games, like, uh, Street Fighter 4 and 5. Hmm. Anyway, the Geet here, these are kind of games that I feel are not that great. But they're not absolute trash. But they're pretty close to it. Soul Legs, the Gale Fury series, basically. Maximum Impact 1 and 2. Mark of the Wolves, I don't want to say that's Geet here, really. I'm just not a big fan of the game, myself. It's not a bad game. But it's not a game that I particularly care much for. If that makes sense. It's kind of like if a queen but here. It's like if a queen. Um... Like, every single Samurai Showdown is here. Street Fighter EX Plus. Why is this here? Um, Gemfire's here. Injustice is here. Um, Redder. PlayStation All-Stars. Battle Royale. Brawlhalla. And, like... Wait, that's Guilty Gear X. Oh, this is the original Guilty Gear. My bad. Um, and, you know, all the more, like, more called that 1, 2, 3 is here. We know why 1, 2, and 3 is here, guys. We know. And there's the trash here. Heckin Street Fighter 1, New Zero Battle Coliseum. This is not trash here. It's just a game I played once. I just only played this once. I don't have a place to put this anywhere else. Um, and then you see all the games that I have never played. Um, all the, all the Blaze Blues, Soul Calibur 1, the Heckin series, outside Heckin 1, um, Capcom vs. SNK 1, KOF 12 and 13, the Dead Door Live series, uh, uh, Bloody Roar, Dragon Ball Fire C, one Piece Odyssey, I think that's what that is. My Heroes One Justice, the first one fighter series, East Laugh, Marshall Maskers, Breaker Revenge, uh, Jump Stars, Acceleration of Sugarney, Who, Battle Fantasia, Primal Roar. Uh, oh no, that's Blame Roar. But I want to properly crime on Roar. A Cot Ski Glimpse Kiv. Gone Gone Never Dies. Uh, Skull Girl. Castlevania Judgment. The R Fine Series. Double Dragon. World Heroes Perfect. My voice is starting to, uh, drone, drone on. Fate Unlimited Codes. The Rumble Fist. Aggressors Start Combat. Melting Blood. Rival Schools. Dive Kit. Guns fighting hurts. Street Fighter Cross Heckin. Whatever that game was. I forget this game again. JoJo's. Jump Force. X Men Children of the Atom. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Cardinal's Revenge. Under Night Emperor. The Last Play. Persona 4 Arena. 
Kasuna encounter Yana Karasu Waku Waku Shopman Killer Instinct Walt Who Oh Hoko no Ken A bunch of moral combat Dragon Ball Super Bukai and Kaichi That one game got sold for Mugen Eternal Fire Zero Million Arthur Arcana Vanguard Princess and Grand Blue Versus. I'm still interested because I I want to I want to use Anila and Cagliostro. Again, all the games I've never heard of, so I'm not going to go over all of these games. I swear I've heard of Chaos Code. I swear I've heard of it. So yeah, there's all of the uh. On the other games. So there's that list. DNF Duel. I would probably put at like C. Um, he needs Mutant Nicks Earls Tournament Fighter would be like E. Justice League Ask Force would be E. Um, I'm trying to think of other fine games. Um, I cannot think of other fighting games off the top of my head. An old anime fighter? I know uh, Rory wants to play some games with me, but I just never got around to doing it. Maybe some day. I remember seeing that actually. That one looked rather interesting. Um, I haven't heard Mugen related stuff in a long time. Where would I, where would I rate Mugen? Where would I rate Mugen? Hmm. It's unrateable. You cannot rate Mugen. You just can't. You cannot rate Mugen. <laughs> oh, and what's going on? Eichmann? Eichmann. Eichmann. Yes, Engine. Um. And we don't talk about some of the stuff that happened in Mugen. Right, Mel? He. We don't talk about the drama that's been in Mugen. We don't talk about some of the characters that's been in Mugen. Right? Ha 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 if you look it up, that's on you. Because there's some very, very bad stuff there. Yeah, uh, yes, hey, yes, yes it was. Yes it was. Yeah, that's one of the big issues. And we all talked about some of the really big issues in regard to those issues. Right, Mel? Hey? Mel, he knows exactly what I talk about. There's some really, really bad stuff. Like, there's some really, really awful stuff that was made. And it's like, why? Why would you make this? Huh? Um, I don't know what you're talking about, hey, but, um, we're not going to go any further in the details. Just, just for everyone's sake. That's all I will say on it. I will say, though, a lot of characters that got introduced, I mean, did come from Mugen. Like the Soku characters. The Soku characters I learned from Mugen. That's what, the Soku or a ho ho in general. I learned from Mugen. I was like, who are these anime characters? And it's like, oh, they are very cheap characters in Mugen. 
And that was back in like 2001, when it was real early. It might have been 2000, 2003. Moo? Right, it is Moo. Because you is from now it's just Oo. If you're. Alright, Japanese lesson for you guys. A E I O U in Japanese is exactly the same as in Spanish. And I know I, I hunk a little bit of Spanish in a uh, high school. I don't remember my Spanish anymore, but um A is pronounced like ah. So it's like Akma. You know, like that. Akai. E is it's pronounced as like A. So like, um, what's a good E word? A good E word in Japanese. I don't know very many E words. Um, does anyone have a good E word? I'm blanking on an E word in Japanese. Um, I don't, I don't know a good word off, off my A. Anyway, it's pronounced like A or E. So I is pronounced like E. So like Echo. Echo, right. Echo? That is correct, right? Echo? I could have sworn E is pronounced like A, though. Or is E pronounced like E? Eh. So it's like Echo. Um, I can't think of any other E words. But, you know, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced like A, right? Like E is pronounced like A in vowels. Or maybe it's pronounced as E. Eh. Anyway, I is pronounced like E. Like, Eetsy. I believe Eetsy is one. Is that correct? Eetsy means one. Which is I-C-H-I. I-C-H-I. Not E-C-C-H-I. I think that's more... I think that's, uh... I don't know how they pronounce in Japanese for that one. Etsy? <laughs> um, Etsy is one. Or, you know, here's another one. Itachi. For you Naruto fans. Itachi. So there's two I's there. They're pronounced as E. So, e ha chi And as you heard, A is like A uh, in there, so ha. E ha chi. I can't believe I'm doing the little Japanese uh, lesson here. I'm not even that big in Japanese. So O is like Ichigo. Yeah. So O is still O, I believe, right? Like, um,. Like, um, Ogmaro, or Onimusa. Ogmaro's the easier one to go with. I can't think of any other O's off, off my head. But Ogmaro, um, any other O's? Orochi. Orochi. So O is still O, if I recall. And then you just act like Fauna. That's all you gotta do. Just act like Fauna. Ooh. You is ooh. <laughs> I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong with the U's. Um. What is a good U word? What is a good Uchiha? Uchiha. 
Thank you, Naruto, for teaching us how to say some Japanese things. <laughs> so yeah. Oo, see, ha. So it's always like oo. It's never. It's not yuki ha. Ukimi. Did I say that right? Ukimi, or is it ukemi? Is it uk? Is it ukimi or ukemi? I think it's ukemi, right? Because it's it's not key, it's not there's it's not e it's uh it's like it's like a or e so it's like ukeme ukeme ukemi sorry it's ukemi right also utsu ho I forgot about utsu ho. <laughs> And, um, Su Wa Ko. So, yeah, so that's basically how it's, it's Ukimi, it's Ke, 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 it's Ukemi, Ukemi, Ukemi. Yeah, I'm mixing up my little, 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 Ukemi. Ukemi. If you want to know O word, I just brought this. Orohime. There you go. Or. Ro. Oro. Oro. It's still O. It's still pronounced like O. Oro. And you know, Hime. Wait, Hime? It's Hime, right? He me? He may? A? Ego? He may? Hmm. One of these days I should try and learn Japanese. Um. But yeah. A is A. E is E. I is E. O is O. And U is Fauna. There you go. You now know how to do, uh... Not only Spanish vowels, but Japanese vowels. Because if I recall, they the exact same way. Marisa. Yeah, Marisa. I always said Marissa, but you know, that's because I pronounce it the English way. Which would be Marissa. But there it would be Marisa. You know what, like, Narissa is, uh, we, we pronounce Narissa as Narissa, but it should be Narissa, right? You know, we call her Risa, for sort. That's, actually, that's funny. That we call her Narissa, but when we sort in it, it's Risa, even though it's the same exact spelling. Huh. Also, if you want to have fun pronouncing Japanese names, just look at uh, look at any uh, uh, a lot of the Hoover names and and be Japanese. So there you go. You can try pronouncing those. It's he may, may, so it so it be oro he may. In that case, oro he may. May. A. A. Oh, E is A, then. In that case, E is A. But in, like, Echo, it's like, E? Eh? Or who S? Or who S in what? Where, where are who S in? Oh. Right. Right, you're talking about Narissa. Uh, how far back in the stream am I? Oh, right. Okay, it's just a little bit back for me. It might be a bit further back for other people. Learning Japanese on the Sox game stream meant for fighting games. Hey! So, here's another one for you people. Tifa. 
Kifa, we used to call it Hifa. That's how I used to call her. Everyone used to call her Hifa. Because, you know, like, Hifani. But it's actually Kifa. Kifa. Ah. Ah. He. It's like how we used to call Hygus Hygus all the time. But it's Hygus. Hygus. Gus. I don't think we can actually do the oo sound in that one. I think it's is Gus, right? Um, Orin is another one that's a weird one because that's like two vowels. I think the I think the uh you gets eaten up like I don't know. Ha 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 ha, or ha 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 ha. Yeah, he didn't have a name originally, so yeah. Um, Yuna. Yuna's a good one. You. Na. Yeah, again, because you can change their name. Um. So. Lu. I don't know if Lulu counts. Does Lulu count? Lu. Ooh. I guess it does, because we would probably go like Lala. No, is Lulu? Is Lulu an actual name? I don't know if Lulu's an actual name. I'm assuming it is. But I don't know, really. I know Yuna's an actual name. Um, I don't, I, I don't know about Orin. It's used as a nickname? Lou would be the nickname for Lulu. Is a name? Okay. Um, how about this? Here's what I always have problems with. It's Ryu. Is it Ru? Or is it Ryu? Or is it Ryu? Because I hear it, I hear it pronounced so many different ways sometimes. Is it Ryu? Is it Re you? Is it re you? I, I, I don't know. Which way is it for him? Orin is a name. Re you? Okay. It's not Rai, it's re. See, that's the part that was throwing me off with the R and Y. Because I'm like, is it? Is it Rai or is it re for that? Okay, so it is Ryu, then. Because I know that the, I know Fine Games say his name, but I know there was a few times I heard Ryu in Fine Games, or in, like, um, I think they called him Ryu in the movie, didn't they? In the Street Fighter the movie, they called him Ryu? I think that's the thing they did. Sun Li doesn't really count because Sun Li is a Chinese name. I don't know how similar Chinese is to uh, Japanese. Well, I guess it's kind of similar if Li is uh, is L I. Oh, I, I guess that is true. That is true in the West. In the old days, most people didn't know the pronunciation. How my how's my how's my Japanese by the way? Is it is it okay? Like, I don't do Japanese very much. Roses are red, violets are blue. Oh my wa, no sin ke lu. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. Oh my wa, no sin ke lu. Yali yali gase. I don't know that much Japanese minds here. I just know, like, little things here and there. Um, I think that's all I can really think of. I cannot think of anything else to add. Oh my wa. No. Oh, it's Mo? Mo? I could say no. 
Whoops. I somehow mistook the mo for no. Oh my wa, mo sin ke lu. Yali yali da se. I think when I first saw Umaiwa Mo Sinkeru, I think I saw the Mo as a no. So I think that's why it's been stuck in my head that way. I I don't remember where I saw that uh, specific Valentine's thing. But that's been stuck in my head, so that's how I remember all of that. Umaiwa Mo Sinkeru. I think whenever I do my Japanese, I have to do like a deeper voice for some reason, so it's like, Oh my wa, no, mo, mo, oh my wa, mo sinkeru. It just goes naturally deeper. Sometimes. I don't know, maybe it's a mental thing. Or maybe, you know, I'm actually trying to work on my voice a little bit. Who knows? Um, anything else? I cannot think of anything else for fighting games. I did not know I was going for four and a half hours. Oh my goodness. See, this is what happens when, uh, when Fauna does not stream. Uh, I just go, I go real ham. <laughs> I have no self-control. I don't pay attention at time. I just keep going. So, with that said and done... I'm going to give you another look at the list. Some of these games, like this Naruto game, I never streamed. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Someday. But a lot of the games you see down here, maybe that's what's going to take up Wednesday slots for a while. Maybe it will. Because, you know, again, fighting games are supposed to be my specialties, right? So why not make one day dedicated to fighting games? Assuming I'm able to play some fighting games, um, you know. Now, that does mean I'm going to be limited on time for fighting games. Unless I want to, you know, push it further and hit a stream. If Fauna is streaming, it also depends on what she's streaming who, so. Um, hey, Melty, I asked to hate this earlier, but, um, do you think you can, I, I, I'm gonna ask you this, who? Do you know if there's any problems with streaming this game right here, in particular? Because I do think I have this game on my, uh, external. Somewhere. Um, anything else? So this is a lot of fighting games I've never played. Hilariously enough. Um. Also, I might play some fighting games with, um, Hate on Wednesdays. If Melt he ever gets, you know, at that point where he can again. I might play some fighting games with uh, Melty as well. And depending on our games, I don't know how many of these other games I'd be able to play with other people. It does show some skin. Okay. It does show some skin. Um, it's not like, it's not going to get me like banned or anything, right? I'm hoping it's not going to get me banned or anything. Or anything, right? Making sure that's still going. Like, it's not like adult stuff that you would see. Um, I don't even know what this game is. Like, what is, is this even a game? Or is this one of those meme images that's just like right here? That's here for some reason. Who? What are you saying who for? 
Is it gonna be any worse than like dead or alive? Cause I'm pretty sure you can scream dead or alive, right? Right? Do I really want to scream dead or alive? I don't know. But who knows? Um, we'll probably um see some of these on Wednesdays. If I don't do the uh tutorial stuff. So I don't really have that many tutorial things to do in regards to the tutorial series. Um I may look in that but Okay, so get a life is fine. Bangor Princess, maybe. Um Yeah. Anywho, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. I may have to compile a list of fighting games that I can play. The side games? Well, I don't know if I'm going to do the side games. I don't even know how much Dead or Alive I would do. Mostly because I'm not really into Dead or Alive. So, you know. Anywho! I saw Max Million do and Justin Wong do a whole bunch of these fine games. I could do them too. I have to show that I could do them. Right? Right? If Max and Justin can do them, I can do them. Now, am I on the same level as Max and Justin? Probably not. Probably not. I'm sure if I weren't playing them in uh, any other fine game, they would destroy me. But, you know, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I could play Justin or uh, Max. I don't know if that would ever happen. I don't even know what we would play. If we would play, I don't even know if we could play. Maybe some gay, right? Maybe some gay. Um, but yeah, Wednesdays gonna be fine games until I run out of fine games, or if I don't have a tutorial to go uh put up. Um, I might do a dizzy tutorial. For Exarch, I don't think I've done a Dizzy tutorial. Have I done a Dizzy tutorial? I don't think so. I think I just soak, uh... I think I just soak her move set and went with that. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, I think we're gonna call it here for today. So, Oriasume, everyone. I will catch you all. Whatever that may be. So, tomorrow, assuming I stream, which I should be, will be another Let's Learn stream. So, it's going to be more RPG Maker MP. So, you can expect more of that. Uh, again, my schedule is Sundays. Let's Learn. So, specifically learning stuff for both me and the viewer. Monday is going to be the sort game stream, whatever that is. Um, I don't have a sort game right now. Oh, yes, I do. I have Mel Gear and Mel Gear 2. Tuesday is the long game. I put it on Tuesday because Fauna usually doesn't stream then. Right now, that's Ho Ho Fantasy. When Ho Ho Fantasy is done, Depending on what I feel like, I might do Metal Gear Solid 5 or Persona 3 Reload. Wednesday, for now, is going to be a fighting game day. This might include online matches. Um, this might include uh, learning. Or it might be a tutorial uh, stream. Depending on what I feel like. It's like what I did with FF7 where I did come at here and just give and talk about it. Um, Thursday is another sort game stream. Basically, whatever was on Monday continues there if, uh, if it needs to. Friday, same thing as 
Tuesday. It's a long game stream. Saturday, expect streams like this. Saturday, end of the week, starts again. I think that's a good way to close out the week. And it gives me a chance to practice my talking because I noticed during the stream I'm nasalizing a lot. Especially uh, now, I am nasalizing a lot. And I'm talking too fast. And I'm not talking through my mouth. I'm talking through my nose a little too much. So, yeah. So, that's, that's how the schedule is going to look from here on out. So, that's what we're going to be doing from here on out. So, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Or Yasume again. I will catch you guys whenever that may be.